uh, we're going to have to work together. I think we're pretty shaky on this, and we, I mean, I can get as far, but we need to, to really work together. And right now, what I'm thinking is what our job is, is going to be, we're going to go in to recover, um, we're a data recovery team to get data, um, and so I've got uh, a hacker and a tech to do that, and I've got the killer to guard me, guard us, and then I'm not sure what uh, Daddy Bye Bye's job is, what we can do there, what we can, what the fiction is for him, but he can just be part of the team. It's well, not a big deal. representative. Okay. I, I, I yeah, I, I, I don't even really get what he is, his his character is. I should probably look it over. But anyways, um, so when we start talking, we got to figure out. Does that make you the corporate loyalty officer? Something like that. But um, we got to we got to put this together because. You know, there's another team of people there who may take offense at this, and you know they're they're infiltrators and combat badasses, and so that could be a problem. We got to talk them over. And I think we I can, don't think it'll be an issue. Yeah, well, it's gonna be. So, well, one thing to think about is, given our current status, you might want to think about the fiction of. Yeah, well, I already did, and what I'm thinking of doing is saying, going in there aggressively and saying. Who the hell is responsible for watching the shoreline? And you know, you know, we were setting up, we were coming here, and we got attacked by Waylon Utani. Um, I mean, we'll look through these guys and figure out what they've got. And you know, what we can say, you know, we got attacked, we got hit. Look at our copter. You know, what the hell is going on? Who's in charge of this? And start being, you know, super aggressive that way. Put them on the defensive. But yeah, well, I, I got an idea to support that. What, what? happens if we uh, get? close to the shore like you're saying and we put out a distress con you know put out a distress signal coming from this area at that point and that'll help back up your fiction have the uh uh trace there put out the old smoke signals that tell them that something's going on over here and then we come in and we solve it that way we we look like the heroes and we're coming in to do our job well i'm thinking i mean that the idea works, but I mean, it happened now. Um, it was a missile attack. Very easily, somebody has seen this already. I mean, they're ways should... offshore. They can't see you from here. Well, no, they can't. Right. But um, you know, very easily, somebody around here could have. I mean, if a you know, if a missile got fired, I mean, I don't know how far away we are for some. What's the chances? I think of people, saw, you know, saw this. It's a thirty-minute trip. Off. No, no, no. I know, not them. Oh, uh, probably people, people around here. You want to get out of here. Uh, before the authorities come, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be broadcast, and well, you know, it's people are going to come. You know, eventually some some video is going to come here, and they're not going to know what's happening, and there's going to be a pile of dead bodies here. Okay, I, I think this kind of violence just kind of happens. I don't think they're necessarily going to see this has an has having our footprints and hoof prints all true. over it. That's true. Well, I mean, if we could get that fiction going, yeah. Well, one um, of the things is none of you like. Uh, uh, took the option that it created extra noise or left behind telltale signs. That was one of the, the options on the, the harm move, so nobody took that, so you guys are pretty clear right this second. Okay. Um, so, we're okay. learning. Yes, so, or, I mean, yes, um, I say, uh, but, uh, uh, Trace, what can you help us with um, as far as, as Selling, uh, selling this. What can we, what can we do, uh, Rake? I'm going to ask you that second. Kill. I think what, um, what Ringo's going to do is stand there and look intimidating and be the killer. I could probably rig up the the, the distress uh, uh, signal uh, to them, saying that that the, we is their their team was attacked um, and. Uh, we're coming in injured, and we might uh, uh, you know need some assistance or something like. Uh, uh, wh while you're in there, can you put some kind of work order in for a data retrieval team? So it looks like all officious and all that stuff. Yes, I'll I'll make the electronic. Uh, uh, cover match our, our our physical cover. Okay. I mean, at the at the uh, 
at the at the off-site place or whatever it was. The uh, the submarine. Oh. Or the, right, because if it looks like they're ex you know if they're expecting us, this will go over a lot smoother. Okay. So Rick, Rick, how can we? How can, What can you do to help us out here to get to sell this? Rick, you might be muted, Ben. Okay. Um, Lowell, I, one thing I want to do sure. is that um, I am going to uh, take your uh, take you at your word, and, and since we're getting slaughtered here, uh -huh. I'm going to loot the freaking bodies. Okay. Um, probably won't be able to get any armor that you can use. Uh, That's fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, what what is it that you want? I want whatever they've got. They had a rocket launcher, which uh, uh, no uh, Ringo nope. was the. No, I don't. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Well, that got blown I sh up. I shot the okay. rocket launcher okay, and I fine. shot the sniper rifle. Okay, that's fine. I thought you shot the guy through the eye. That's what I was thinking. Oh but no, he shot through, through the, the rocket. Scope. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Whatever else is there, whatever uh, high tech weapons, whatever gear they have, we want it. Okay. Um, then let me have this. Probably uh, uh, seems like. Um, probably the best way to do it is, um, why doesn't somebody, uh, Ben, are you there? Ben? Hello. <clears throat> hey. Yeah. Sorry, it takes Skype two seconds, five seconds to recognize to get myself on and off mute. <clears throat> that is fine. Um, so, uh, why don't, I want you to do something, make a roll for me, uh, to kind of be in charge of, uh. Uh, going and getting uh, this. Uh, I'm going to do a modification of the storage move um, that you have. And essentially, if you go and scavenge from among these people, let's see what kind of gear you can generate. So if you could please roll, uh, roll mind. Okay. Mind. I'm good at scavenging stuff. Yeah. Woohoo! So let me take a look at that. Uh, so that is a nine. So you'll be able to get one gear off of these guys. Hey, I like cool. it. Okay. So you guys can, can grab up some of that. And again, when you've got gear like that, you can, uh, uh, you know, spend it later on to say, okay, we have this thing we got off those guys. Okay, Chip. Uh, basically, the idea is that uh, we're going to go in... We're supposed to be a data um, data tech recovery team, and we're supposed to go in hopefully before these other guys um, go in, and it's going to be a hard sell. So um, we need to get uh, uh, we need to get whatever you can offer to get us in, and uh, uh, that's what I want. And right now we're basically working on a story that we got attacked, and we're trying to. Uh, I'm going to be sitting there. Who's who's in, who's in charge of security? You know, you should have known that these guys that have been, you know, trying to hit us or something like that. Not sure how that's going to work, but any suggestions you have on what you can do to help is would be appreciated. Hey, hey, before Chip answers that, hey, Scott, I'm getting this weird thing where after everybody talks, I'm getting echo from your mic. Huh. It's just like this squawk echo after people talk. I don't know if it, if you've got something near the, the mic or what. It's really weird. Oh. Uh, what'd you say? You cut in and out, Matt. Now I can't hear anybody, apparently. I can, can hear you. hear me? No. Matt? Okay, Matt's muted. Scott? I'm here. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll move on, and I'll tell you if it, if it pops up again. No. Okay. Uh, uh, I got it. You're coming in and out. Matt. I'm on the Jersey Shore today, so I'm in a small rental house with my kids right now. Oh, okay. I just knocked outside. Oh, okay. So you're you're a little uh, uh, a little uh, challenge for Wi-Fi. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just I'm just using my my wireless because I'm a baller like that. But uh, <laughs> nah, it's just uh. 
I said I said went outside, so you didn't hear cartoons and squawking and whatnot. All right. Fair anyway, enough. so uh, I, heard, I heard something about asking Chip. Uh, yeah, that's why Chip. I ran outside. Um, the idea right now is we're going to go in, we're going to fly in, drop in, and we're going to be a data tech uh, recovery team, and we're supposed to go in before these other guys. Um, I think this is going to be a pretty hard sell uh, to get in there. So whatever you can do to help sell that is going to work. What I'm trying to think of now is that we got attacked. You know, the uh, the helicopter is visibly damaged, and so we got to sell that. But we got attacked by um, if these guys are identifiably Wayland Utani, we can use that. Um, uh, Scott's trying to plan a story. Uh, I, I, this is not coming together that well. But anyways. Um, you know, there's going to be police reports that they could check that we got attacked, and so we can be able oh. to uh, verify that. And I've got some um, some stuff that is going to be verified. Scott's going to try and help us out, make sure that that stuff matches. What is there anything you can help out with? The yeah, I think I, uh, well, I, I use this skill, and you, you'll uh, you'll forgive me because I don't have the books in front of me, so I'm going to be approximating names I'm for everything. I'm looking at your but, stuff. But I, I did like a what's it like a a. a gather data or something, you know, whatever the, uh, I think it uses cool, uh, the role to kind of get information on something last time. Mm -hmm. And I rolled a 10 plus, so I had two forward banked for that, I think, right? So I can use, yep. I can use a forward for a role related to that, I, I, I believe. Uh, when the question I asked was like, when we knew about the site we needed to infiltrate, how does I, how do I gain an advantage or something like that was the question. Yeah, that's right, the, the um, that's the assess. Yeah. So what you can do is is with those two holds you can ask questions when we go in and when you act on that you get a plus one forward. All right. So we've got some uh I guess you know some ability there but that seems like it's kind of situational, right? Like we get in the situation and we use it. It's not part of the plan per se. Does that does that sound right? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, which, um, which is, by, is that's that's all me. I, I'm not, there's no plan here. By the way, um, I was gonna ask, sorry, I got in a little late. Um, I had 12 uh, experience points when we ended last time. Yep. So I want to take the reporter skill um, that lets me. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Um, okay. It's the one that like lets you like escape when you publicize the things. Uh, um, forget it's, it's you know it's one of the core skills they get. Um, but. Chip is happily announcing to everybody, you know, guys, you're not going to believe this. And this is the cover for that skill now. Uh, I just got signed by the Shout Podcast Network. They're, they're, they're going to they're gonna carry carry my show. Um, and, oh, Chip's, Chip's a real bona fide media personality now, yeah. So, uh, I've, got, I've got connections now, guys. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, live and on the air, when you go live from the scene and broadcast the stream to avoid harm and expose your target, roll edge. Yep, that's the one. Uh, yeah, uh, you might want to have a delayed broadcast, if you, uh, if you know what I mean, rather than a live broadcast. Otherwise, the people we're trying to infiltrate might get some kind of heads up. Oh, yeah, ab absolutely. But, you know, uh, we, we, we can go... Uh, a d delay, a little tape delay, sure. But one thing I've learned is, um, none of these things ever stay secret anyway, right? So why not capitalize on them? Yeah, well, there's also 10 billion internet users, and uh, you know, a billion channels. So it's it's kind of hard to get noticed. Uh, also, something you said there, uh, Xavier, uh, you. We're talking about referencing a police report, and that's probably not going to be a good idea since uh, we're we're saying that we got ambushed on the shore, and that's there's not going to be any kind of report like that. Besides, as a corporate team, we'd probably want to avoid any police report reporting anyway, so we wouldn't have wanted to highlight that fact. Okay. Okay. So the story is. We got attacked. We were we were preparing to putting our stuff together. We got hit. Now is it by Wayland Utani or is it so who would be? I know, that who would, is? Uh, go ahead. That that's that, that certainly it, it's a possibility. Who is uh, who is who are these guys uh, working for? Do we know? Uh, who are we hitting? 
No, I know who we're hitting. It's Savage Pharma. Right. But uh, I forgot No, you who didn't the... check in to, and you weren't, uh, didn't investigate who hired you. Okay, it's these guys that, uh, we know their names and stuff. I have all that crap. Let's see. Uh, Sprawl. There we go. Okay, so Clang. Okay, it's Clang. Okay, so it's part, we could just say it's part of Clang stuff. We could say Whale and Yutani, though, but we, we there's no identifying stuff on these guys at all, is there? Uh, on these guys, uh, they, they're that uh, uh, Ferrani's. They were independent security team that were after you. Right, right. Well, they used to be. Yeah, right. They were Whale and Yutani. They're all dead. They work for Whale and Yutani. Okay, but I mean, is there anything that's obvious that's going to be? Tie them back. Besides, their besides who they are. Sure, if you want to spend the gear to have that. No, no, no. We're not, um, not necessarily. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. We ready? Okay. Uh, ben, you never said what are you, what are you going to do for it? What are you going to? What can you do? What can? You, how can you help me to sell this? Um. <clears throat> you mean rake? <clears throat> Sorry. So I I maybe I missed some of the uh, some of what's going on here. So our last thing was we were um, doing this Colossus offshore oil rig thing, right? Yes. <clears throat> um, and I need to catch my mind up again with what. Uh, okay. Well, we were getting ready to go there. We got attacked by this we got ambushed. Ambushed right. by this Wayland Utani security team that we messed with in the, I think the first episode. Um, and they came and they, their clock ran out and they came and hit us and they hit us with a rocket launcher. And so then we started fighting them and um, uh, uh, Ringo basically killed most of them. And well, you did with your uh, with your droid. Oh, but, yeah. Um, and so now they're dead. We got to go. Now we got to do the real mission, which is to go and um, infiltrate Thanks. this under, okay. underwater. Uh, facility get Octavia, right. and get Octavia out, right. and they've got you know they've got a security team there that's ready to go in and kill everybody. And so we Who's have they. Waylon, um, you telling you, right? No, uh, Savage Pharma. Uh, Savage Pharma. All right. Okay. For whatever reason, they're going to kill everybody. So I think we uh, are we on site there. Or I, I no, remember no, we were, we're trying we're to take to off and we got hit. Right. We're in, yeah. We're on on our way now as we have this discussion. Right. Okay. So I think um, uh, was that the that that the uh, salvage roll? Um, which one duty? Let me look at my. That was again. you guys. Um, looting the bodies. I was looting the bodies. Nice. Look through accumulated parts and play. Can I do that? Was it plus one gear for uh, you? You. Yeah. Okay. Let me. I I thought. It, okay. Let me write that down. <clears throat> Um, okay, let me think. So, I think we want to, we were trying to get information off uh, off the Colossus rig to see what the best approach was, right? Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, that window is closed. Um, okay, right now, now we're on our way. You guys are on your way, and Carl is okay. asking about any assist for his cover when you, when you hit the ground. I mean... One thing I was thinking about, and uh, you know, you, to that you've got a specialty piece of equipment that you've got to install, and you can roll it out, and you know, maybe there's a timeline on it. I, I don't know. Maybe there's something we have why to get you, in, but something that helps us. What? What? Why, why don't you rig up something that looks like, uh, uh, like a biocontainment or something a canister? Because we know that. That they do bioweapons research down there, uh, and we're here to uh, to do data retrieval. Uh, but we've also got this bio you know, this biohazard container that that might insinuate that we're also here to retrieve something else. Scott, and that would be, that would, would, be that would be a good cover. Scott, and you've for, saved it. That's excellent. I, I know exactly. Good, what, yeah. I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go in, and we are. We've yeah, been inoculated. We're worried that a world-killing virus is down there, 
that has been unleashed, and we have to get it first. Because that's actually it. true, because I'm worried about that. Yeah. So and there really we go, don't... Scott. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now I got a story that that works. I'm good with that. That's excellent. And no one really wants to fuck with someone that's carrying a world-ending virus. Yeah. Or, or do you want to go down there first? You're more than welcome to. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I uh, um. Ben, are you spending the gear for that then? I'll spend the gear for that. Okay, so you guys have this this container that looks like a, a fancy high tech uh, bio hazard container that you guys uh, had put together beforehand. All right, so we are in the air. All right, um, uh, and and getting getting on the way. Uh, Scott, you wanted to uh, essentially hit uh, whatever corporate data stream is going back and forth to drop in uh, this. Uh, 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 ident request for yourselves? Yes, to match his co cover story that we're a retrieval team going uh, going in top secret no no direct you know, we're here for biohazardous materials, but the implication that that must be why we're Sure. While we're here, uh, so let's do this real simple. Uh, just because this is a separate, a separate system, let's have you just do essentially a login role um, uh, to see if you can get that in place. Um, uh, is that mind or synth? I don't remember. Uh, synth. Why can't I see the? Oh. Okay. Uh, so uh, you've got uh, an eight. Um, uh, so it's uh, it's going to give Carl a plus one forward to his uh, work, um, but it's not the most stable thing in the world. How does that sound? Sounds good. I'm programming while we're flying in a damaged chopper. Yep. Um, uh, and uh, Matt, you're do you're still piloting, right? Um, so you guys will be uh, moving over the water uh, uh, again that's about 30 minutes out um, and as you approach the, in Airwolf pardon in Airwolf in, yeah as you approach in this uh, uh, shitty uh, 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 helicopter it will be Imagine like a, like a a Mercedes SUV. That's what this helicopter is. Yeah, it's it's more more uh, practical than it is military. Um, what you will see as you guys are coming in is this is this mobile uh, uh, oil and and research platform. Um, you will notice that there are. Uh, a couple of helicopters on the the pad. There is a pad that's clear, um, and Carl. Contrary to what you were told, there are a lot of people here. Um, Woohoo! It looks like, like, I mean, it looks like the full the full crew is there, um, um, and uh, so. Uh, it's like 140 people. Yeah. Okay. Um. And so you will... Uh, the full crew on the rig? Or what? Yep. Uh, he, Carl was understood that it was just a skeleton crew there. But oh, this is not the case. I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, That's what you get when you roll a four. Mm. Um, so uh, Carl, uh, they, the, the, essentially the, the, the control uh, will, will uh, uh, contact you essentially uh can who what's your what's your code who is this uh this is a restricted facility blah 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 um, yeah and i will give them my entry information say you know this is blah 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 uh let's have you roll fast talk now is that covert entry or is that um uh, is that uh fast talk which would you prefer me to do it as? Fast talk is um, you kind of talking. Covert entry is this is the uh, trying to get cool. into a secure area. Yeah. Which would you prefer? You can. I mean, um, obviously, you could just do the fast talk now and then do the covert entry when you get on the scene and know what's going on, or vice versa. Uh, uh, let me see. Um, let me do the 
covert entry. Uh, well, no, no, no. I'll do the. Uh, I can do the fast talk now. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and roll style? You've got plus one forward from Scott. Okay. So style is. There we go. I may have some good bonuses. Now. So eight nine may have a. Uh... Is that part of it? Can I apply Intel? What do we get with the? Um, I don't. Let's see. Oh, okay. So if I don't know that Lowell heard you. I said, since I'm applying for it, can I apply Intel? Or can only Carl do that? Yes, you can. Actually, no. Wait, I actually no. I have um, data. Well, I, I have data credentials that I got from um, from uh, from the uh, whatever you call it, the uh, from my uh, source last last time. Okay. So that would be my plus one that I'll use there. Okay. So spend your intel. Okay. Okay. So um, that's a ten. That's a ten. Um, and essentially they'll go, okay, yeah, we have you in the, 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 the log thing. Um, uh, you look like you're taking some damage. Is, 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 uh, why don't you uh, uh, set her down and we'll get uh, 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 some text out there. They don't seem panicked or, or even tight on security there. Um, and uh, you will land uh, the, the chopper. Um, and when you guys land, you will see this uh what looks like you know uh like a foreman uh like a corp foreman uh, uh walking over and he's got a couple of people with him and uh he he walks up sees you guys he's like Whew! holy cow what happened to your chopper man yeah i was like I can't believe it man we got hit by a team right when we were taking off at uh, shore and i don't know what the hell was happened and it was it was uh, First thing it did is shot off the rocket launcher. I mean, the damn place is going crazy these days. Well, you guys are lucky to be alive then. I'll get my guys to uh, to patch that up then. Uh, so, uh, what's going on? I, I'm, I'm looking going, Art? You're, you're not being in infiltrated? I'm sorry, what? You're having normal operations here. Uh, well, yeah, except we've um, uh, we, we've got a, a problem with the communications to the, uh, uh, the downstairs lab, and we've got a tech team that arrived that's uh, uh, working on getting that straightened out. But that's Did about it. Did they go it. in? Did they go in? No, not yet. Okay, you're not really aware... Okay. Sell it. I uh, know I, I am selling it. That's why I'm pausing. Going. Uh, you need to back everybody away. From has it, has anybody gone down there? And I'll, when, when did I? I mean, when was this this uh, uh, team that went in that infiltrated? In? What time did they infiltrate in? An uh, so hour ago, two about, hours. It's probably been about uh, uh, twelve hours. Okay. Has anybody gone down there in the last twelve hours? No, we lost communications, and we haven't been able to get the the elevator in uh, okay, place. Okay, so we're you, we're uh, so you have not been alert. Okay, this is the kind of crap that pisses me off. And I'll talk to him as like you know, this is the corporate bullshit that happens. He goes, they have dangerous, hazardous biological uh, weapons down there, and. Our information is that there is a team in there trying to infiltrate and take that stuff out. And you guys cannot you cannot have anybody go down there. We have to go down there and secure it and make sure that that stuff doesn't get out here. Oh. If any of that stuff gets out, there is one item in there, which very easily is what they're looking for. It will kill everybody on this uh, uh, platform. Okay. Let's have you make that fast talk, Carl. Okay. This guy's get, like... Well, you already got the ten on him on the coming in, so he doesn't have any suspicions. And uh, let's have okay. So, so the is fast it, talk is this something this is, that I could jump in and try and assist him with by essentially coming in, uh, uh, just giving him the the 
hard stare, like we're here to do business and it's, and we're serious that this is sure. roll bad your, stuff roll going on. Roll your links with Xavier. Let's have okay. you do that to give him a plus one forward. Okay. Uh, don't have any links yet, but will soon. So 2D10, 2D6, right? Yep. Seven. Um, oh, right. So, uh, yeah, you'll give him a plus one forward. Um, okay. And... Uh, so everybody else can give me plus one forward. I mean, can can spend their intel like we've been talking about if I need it, right? Yep. yep. Okay, so I get Fabian's and I get um, the one I already have, right? Well, you already used the one from Scott to kind of get in without creating any kind no, of I ripples. Um, oh, no, you spent the intel. So, yeah, you get, you've get got Scott's plus one. So you've got plus right, two right. on this roll in addition to your style. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good thing. <laughs> um so uh you will uh, he's like oh holy shit um uh and he he steps away and he goes everybody kind of move away um i'm gonna need you guys uh, somebody somebody call up the uh standard containment drill stuff because i didn't realize um it's good you got here because that tech team is is uh uh you know down at the, the elevator things so securing stuff so you you know they're they arrived a couple. Of, well, they arrived a couple hours ago, and and they're just they're getting set up. Yeah, that's the alarm going off. Okay, yeah, we gotta go. We got we gotta go. We gotta get them. We gotta stop them because you get your people back. You, you, do you got any gear? Can you come with me? Because we gotta get there. I mean, is it, he's the top guy on this thing. He he's essentially one of the foremen. He's called up the the captain, um, and you'll hear the alarm go off as they essentially beat to quarters. Um, and, uh, you know, it essentially does the equivalent of a, a, a yellow alert, um, that they, everybody needs to, to get, you know, uh, ready cause there's a hazard. Um, okay. uh, and, uh, he'll, he'll start moving you guys, uh, uh, through the facility here. Okay. Is there a security guy that we pass that is like in charge of this platform, like is coming to forward with all of this, um, when all you this probably is going see on? there are some security people around here, but they uh, uh, now now that the you know, alert has gone off, essentially they're they're heading to their stations. Um, I'm going to essentially just lock eyes with the guy I think is in charge, and uh, uh, essentially have him kind of come over using my uh, serious. Well, I have to self edit because of the kids, but serious bad butt kind of ability. Uh huh. Um, so when he comes over here, it's like. So the first know. thing is, you want to get somebody over here. Essentially, you want to get a you want to get a, a head of security because, as I said, there's just security guys running around. So. Um, yeah, I I just flag one of them, one of them who looks like he's in charge, kind of around here. I don't want to find the main guy. I just want like the let's say the ca the captain in charge of the deck rather than the colonel in charge of the facility kind of thing okay well you can get a sergeant in charge of the 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 deck kind of thing okay. who's going who's trying to go to a station he's like well, what um uh, he looks at the guy who's with you um uh rogers that's the name of the guy who's with you um and uh, he looks at the th to the the team and he's like uh what's going on and rogers goes there's a a situation um going on right now um and uh, this guy will look at you, and what do you want, Fabian? Um, essentially, uh, what I am trying to convince him of is uh, I want him to make sure to lock down, not let other people go down or up. Essentially, um, and we can do this with a, a conversation, but essentially telling him, you know, a, our team has been inoculated against the potential... Uh, release of very some very bad sciencey stuff, and it's pretty important that we don't get anyone exposed to this who doesn't have this inoculation. So you need to cordon off. And from my from what I understand, this our team is the only one that has the vaccine right now. So we need to contain this, uh, and you need. To keep your people safe, and I'm giving you the, Let's the have courtesy. Let's roll, roll style. Okay, fast talk. All right, 
10. Uh, and he says, oh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're beating the stations. We're getting the lockdown. Um, you know, uh, we, I mean, uh, all, all the tech teams already, you know, cleared the people who are away from that area while they're doing their work. So I don't think you should have any problem, but, but you got to go talk to them. All right. Well, you know how sometimes this information doesn't get through to where it needs to get going. And I don't want you guys who are just doing an honest day's work getting exposed to this by somebody else's cowboy attitude pardon the yeah i know i talk like a cowboy but go figure okay. so you know if any help you can get in convincing this other team that they need to hold off until we do our job and make sure this is contained would be appreciated because we don't want them getting infected and then you get infected i sent, infected I sent a couple it. guys down there to, to tell them that they're going to need to pull back so don't worry about that thank you um and uh uh scott um while this is going on what are you doing um so let me clarify this just the 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 team that he's insinuating that is already down at the elevator the tech team is is the team with seraphim third eye no Uh, no no no, they're inside or that's the kill team Yes. Okay, and, and the other team was already inside. Gotcha. I just wanted to make sure sure I wasn't quite uh, sure on that. Uh, what am I doing? Um, I guess that... Um, I'm monitoring, uh, monitoring, monitoring the computer traffic that's that's going from and to the, the the rig where we are right now to see what kind of alarms, what kind of things are being sent, and and filter fil- filtering out anything that might you know screw us screw us over, like you know some kind of uh, uh, Message from corporate AQ that says lock down every any, every everyone et cetera et cetera or something like that. No, you don't have to worry about that. It looks like <clears throat> like something is jamming all communications in and out of here, so you don't have any problem. Oh, that's comforting. I feel warm and fuzzy now. Okay. Um. So uh, uh, I assume you're rolling out the drone. We're not rolling out the giant bear machine gun drone that's covered in blood. Oh, we surely wiped it down. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm rolling that up. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Why not? Where? It's probably going to be Have difficult we... to get down the elevator. Okay. We've we've landed, right? I mean. Yeah. And what's around us? Are we in the hangar bay? What? You're on <clears throat> on the uh, outside deck of this uh, uh the, this. Oil rig? oil rig kind of thing and heading towards the the main building to to go and get to the the, the transit elevator down can i use one so, of my assesses to see how he can get the beast down into the uh facility sure um because right. the initial assess right was once we got plans i used assess like on the the blueprints of the building, so to speak, I think, right? Was this way set up? Yeah. I think this is they, legit. They could, you could send it down the elevator, but it has to go down by itself because it can't fit you guys and it. Would descending it down preclude using the elevator again? No, it just had to go down um, by itself. By itself. Um, and you probably actually you guys need to go down first because you have to deal with whatever security is is uh, you know keeping the place locked down before you can send that down. Or, or we could just start slaughtering indiscriminately. You could. Let's yeah. not leave sim- indiscriminate slaughter off the table. It's the kind of thing that gets you a contract with the Shout Network. Well, more like more like getting your eye ripped out by a lemur. Um, will definitely get you a contract. Turns out, no one has ever done a SimSense broadcast of having an eye ripped out by a monkey before. I, I digress. Though. I'm sorry. I'm going to fast talk, Mister uh, Chip. 
to say, Chip, we really don't need excess violence at this point. I think it would be really, really good if we went through this mission without excess violence. Okay? We don't need excess violence. I really want you to do that. You know, we had that kind of talk before. I want you to just play ball with me. Do it my way one time. Would you please, would you please work with me on this? Sure, sure. But let's go in. Do we ever need violence? I've got all the violence I need. I just don't have all the violence that I want. Lowell, yep. I am trying to get him to do that. So, uh, fast talk is uh, um, more of a kind of a specific thing. Like, like if he, if he was about to shoot somebody, oh, okay, uh, okay. Or something that's like fine. that, I would I would let you do that. So that's why I'm not it's, moving to a roll that, on that. that. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. But no, no, I understand. We have to align on a shared purpose and establish synergies within our micro and macro reporting units. So um, <laughs> it, I'm, I'm with you, buddy. Don't worry about it. Uh, right. We could also leave the robot up. In, I mean, we could either leave it at the helicopter or leave it at the entry point, and at least it can. I mean, I assume you got cameras on there, and you can see what's going on up there. Yeah, right now you could probably keep it on on the the, the outside patrolling the decks, and he has the the neural interface, so he can connect to that. Or alternatively, he could have it jump overboard and come in an airlock down there. Oh, I don't think this thing is built for submersion. Uh, unless it unless it has a tag that it's uh, submersible, which I don't. Unless it unless does. he invites a reporter on. <laughs> um, I I would be more concerned at this point about the kill team that's down at right. the ele- at the elevator that's expecting our arrival and will probably shoot us on sight. No, they won't. We'll be fine there. Do you want to so you want to bring it with us? But let's that sounds not like a good be idea. needlessly violent. Okay, let, can we bring it down with us to sit it out and wait for us with us? All right. Does that one work? thing we need to okay. think Break. about. One one thing we need to think about. Our exit strategy right now, as it stands, we we planned on hijacking the infiltration team sub down there. Now, all of a sudden, we're leaving assets here on deck that I don't think are expendable. So, either. They need to get in the copter or be near the copter so they can exit themselves via remote control, or they need to come down with this. Am I missing a point here, or are we coming back up the elevator? Are we changing the plan? Because if we're Great. coming back up this elevator, then we need to ha- probably have something guarding the top of this elevator, make sure we don't walk into something. So, Rake, what do you want to do? Well, um, I think uh, we're going to eventually have to leave probably by this helicopter that we have, right? So Beast can guard that exit point. Or an option is that you take Beast with us, and that's going to look a little suspicious. A big (laughs) Beast is not exactly um, inconspicuous. (laughs) We're going to kill. We're trying, we're going, we're going, and we're worried about protection for a highly trained infiltration team that is, could turn, I mean, it's perfectly a that's no problem. Well, you don't want to go in... Or, I mean, if you want to go in guns blazing, then let's take Beast with us. <laughs> well, I want to go in ready to go guns blazing. But the thing but, is, what's going to... That's fine, but then what's going to... Uh, we're trying to maintain a cover as long as possible, right? Yes. Beast, is, Beast isn't going to help you do that. Mm, yeah, he will. That doesn't bother me at all. I don't see okay. a problem with it. I mean, Lowell, unless you're seeing something I don't see. No, uh, as I said, the only t- the only problem is the logistics of it. Okay. Well, I think it works either way. We can take him down, can take him out through the sub, we can leave him at the deck, and um, and you know guard the entrance, and then we can come up and get him back. I'm not worried about that. Trust me. When we have when we say we have a contained virus, uh, a super virus on there, everybody's gonna get the hell out of our way. All right. Let's bring him with us then. Okay. <laughs> So, All uh, right. Uh, this guy, Richards, will say, "Okay, well, if we're going to bring that thing that's that big, we're going to have to go the long way around to get down to the elevator." Then, Cause how about most... I go the short way? Okay, okay, I can have somebody take you down through the through the decks. Well, I got to go down there too. You, um, I, I got to go down there. Uh, yeah, I'll go down with uh, Ringo. Uh, we got to go the short way. So that does that mean that they're going to meet the kill team by themselves first? Oh, let's split the party! Yay! Yeah. Well, 
I can keep it fast. I can, I'm not I can asking keep... you all, not the rest of you. I, 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 I think they, there, there is a possibility of that, but I'm sure Carl has a, has has thought that out, so I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't be worried. Okay, I'm not Cut. worried then. Um, so if, I, if I'm reading it right, uh, Chip, Rake, and Trace are going to head down a long way with Bear, essentially to get your oh. heavy weapons uh, uh, in Bear, place. Bear promises some great footage. I am not leaving this beast. Okay. 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 Um, as we depart, I'm going to just mention to to uh, Rake. That's Ben. That's your character, right? Yes. Okay. I I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I'm having problems making connections between you and Scott's character. So I apologize for that. Um, so I, essentially, I just say, uh, Rake, uh, it might not be a bad idea if we put a redundant communications jammer under our control up so that if this communications blackout that somebody else initiated gets terminated uh we've got our own handle on it you know what i mean sounds like a good idea yeah you may recall that so, uh, chip has has that capability that's one of the things he took my apologies uh so 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 our communications actually are not working right now so when you go to communicate outside of your your sort of uh uh close line blue bluetooth connectors or however you would would be uh, any long range like off this uh rig is is cut off okay but we can do this well, okay well, that's let, fine. Me ask you, let me ask you this of all because i have the same equipment presumably it's being used to do this to us and the scale might be different mm -hmm. but do i have effective countermeasures to it because of that uh sure roll cool all right can somebody roll cool for me what do you got he can check his character sheet I think, and roll it. I think cool is the edge I'm good at and cool is uh, cool, cool is washed. Cool is the stat. Yep, cool so is roll one. roll cool. Yep. I'll I'll hit All right. I'll hit it on his sheet here. I got it. I got it? Yeah. It's one. Do it? Yep. Okay. Two D six plus one. Uh, no. So, shit. No, it does not uh go off. Um uh, and uh, you will uh, uh, be unable to to get through those communications. These guys are really good, top top quality equipment. I'm presuming because there's, you know, it, it can't be a skill based thing. They're they're probably just uh, throwing money at the problem. It uh, works. So. Uh, Let's let's go with Ringo and uh, uh, Xavier as you guys are moving down, and then we'll cut back to uh, the, the Trace, Rake, and Chip heading down. Okay, does that sound good? Yep. Yes. Okay. Sounds great. Uh, Xavier uh, uh, and Ringo, you guys are moving down, and imagine these are you've seen you know footage of these these offshore things and any kind of like in ship. You know they have these narrow corridors. Uh, sort of tight quarters on the inside and you're going down and there's, there's that tunk, 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 tunk as you're coming down the metal stairs and coming around and there's pipes everywhere um, and uh, uh, he'll say, yeah, we're just uh, uh, another uh, leveler. <laughs> and you see him reach up and he's starting to go purple in the face. What do you do, Carl? Oh, he's... I grab him and go and try to move backwards. Okay. Uh, why don't you act under pressure? Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh my fucking God. Can uh, I use my uh, synth reflexes and just take my Bowie blade and sweep above him so that it would sever anything that's wrapped around it that I can't see wrapped around his neck? Sure. Would that be act under pressure? No, you don't have to do it because there's nothing there. Okay. You sweep your, we your lose arm. Anybody? Uh, Carl, take a two harm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, harm. Okay, there we go. Two harm. So I rolled two harm, so I've got yep. four harm right now? Uh, no, because no, that, no. that would have been cleared. That would have been cleared oh. from last time. Oh, okay. So now I've got two harm back. Okay, so I roll harm, so I've got plus... So it's already got two on it. Yeah. 
So you're uh, well, good. It didn't, uh, well, no, it didn't because it didn't add the t the two that I just have. So it's still just still got. less than ten. Um, so uh, I'm going to say you fall back, but this guy kind of comes out of your arms uh, mm -hmm. as you move up the stairs. Um, uh, and um, I'm also going to need you to tell me what you are doing. You kind of swept at that. There wasn't anything above him. Um, he's kind of crashed to the floor. This Richards guy was taking you down there. So what are you doing, Ringo? Okay, so I don't see anything, right? No. I don't see, like, an, an attacker. Okay, I'm going to spend a point of gear and produce a gas mask. Okay. You can produce put it on. two gas masks? Yes, if I can. Okay, spend that point of gear. Okay. Uh, Xavier, uh, uh, he turns around and... and uh, uh, pulls out these gas masks and throws you one. Um, I also need you to uh, roll uh, act under pressure. Me? Yep. Okay. Um, act under... What stat is that under? That is under cool. Cool. Okay. That's pretty cool good for you. Plus. Oh, yeah, 10. Oh, yeah, 10. So you, you okay. get this you, you got to be the infiltrator. You're the infiltrator this time. Yeah. You get it on fast and quick, and you guys kind of move up. And around you, you can hear people gagging um, and collapsing. Um, and we'll cut away from that um, to you guys are up on... Um, Lowell, can we alert them? what just happened yeah um okay. well what'll probably what they'll what will probably happen is you guys are just kind of coming around the long way and just starting to kind of move in like uh a, like this loading bay thing um and as you look down the sort of the hallway down essentially imagine that there's a ramp going down like into a parking garage and this is for trace rake and chip uh and you got bear with you and you can see there's some people kind of talking down below, you know, where you're headed to get to an interior freight elevator to go down to the to the sub elevator. And you'll see these two guys just drop. They just collapse to the ground. And then you'll get that call from Xavier. Well, it's a good thing you stored more gas, gas masks uh, in that bear of yours, Rake. Right. Uh, do I have gas masks on my bear? I Spend I don't think I have gear, and you do. But I don't, I've already I don't have any extra gear, <clears throat> so. Don't have any left. No. Nope. Okay. And you can't use Intel for that. No, I don't. I don't have Intel either. <clears throat> uh, so then what I guess I'm, I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to. Uh, try to hack hack into the system to see if I can find out if they're using uh, basically the uh, the ventilation of the the oil rig to distribute this uh, gas and and if I can turn it off or something like that. Uh, sure, that seems like uh, uh, that's going to be an assess. Uh, so roll edge. Eight. Eight. Um, so you're going to gain a hold. Um, it looks like to you, when you spend that hold, like uh, this team, uh, the, the guy mentioned that they'd been here for a couple of hours, um, and they clearly spent a good deal of that time prepping this uh, place to essentially uh, kill off uh, the crew here um, in kind of one, one fell swoop. Um, and... Yes, it is in the ventilation things, um, and because everybody kind of beat to quarters and went indoors uh, to uh, get, you know, uh, into safety area, um, it looks like it's spread through that way. Okay. Um, can I get like a, maybe a, um, a, a uh, hazardous protocol a thing that would show me where the 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 suits or masks are nearby. 
Yeah, that seems like a, a reasonable thing, um, especially because uh, Matt um, and Ben both spent time kind of getting the uh, uh, layout of the place. Does that seem cool by you guys? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, you'll you'll pull that up. You'll check your things. You run to one of these upstairs lockers uh, where they have essentially the the the, the hazardous waste uh, cleanup things. Um, and probably like a uh, emergency diver rebreather in case somebody goes overboard, and you guys can can quickly grab up uh, those masks. Does that seem cool? Yep. Okay. Um, and because you guys didn't go into the indoors, I wouldn't. I'm not having you roll act under pressure for damage. Um, so uh, Xavier Ringo. Um, Looks Wait, just like one sec. I suggest a trace. Can we find this, isolate the source of where the gas or canisters are being injected into the ventilation system? Because I can send Beauty um, down and take a look. <clears throat> oh, it's not part of the... Uh, it's not part of their computer uh, system. Uh, we'd have to actually physically see where they've I can't extrapolate based on... Uh, if you can give me kind of a rough map of the system, I can have Beauty do the rest. All right, I'll, f I'll feed the map of the ventilation structure to uh, his, his little drone. Okay. Um, and you want to set it to hunting through the oil rig for uh, these uh, gas canisters? Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. Um. Uh, so they they are are pretty well distributed. What what do you want to do? You want to get a sample of one, or you want to get one? No, no. He's just, he's just pure surveillance to see if I can. Um. Uh. So he's just pure beauty. Is just pure surveillance. He's just taking a look and seeing if he can find any of the um of the bad guys and 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 see if there's more intel on just where you know the canisters are where they're deployed and things like that <clears throat> so you can start getting a map of where they put these canisters uh throughout this oil <coughs> rig um that's certainly not a problem okay cool yeah quick computer sim simulation uh run based how long do the people on this rig have before they're all all dead uh they're probably all dead now. All right, well. <laughs> um, because because they essentially got into enclosed areas and uh, got caught by this. Um, Lowell? Well, yes, that'll make coming back up back. easier. If I may. Uh, yeah. What makes the most sense tactically is to kind of move forward while they think everybody is... While, the, while they to trying to act under surprise to why they think everybody is under control or that that shouldn't there shouldn't be anybody causing them problems so it makes more sense to rush forward but what i would like to do is grab this guy and uh, take a point of experience for this grab this guy and rush him out and try and get him resuscitated into like some open air okay um that seems cool to me um uh, why don't you uh, what? roll cool for me? Uh, can I use my synth reflexes to give me a forward on it? Uh, no, this is more of a apply first aid kind of thing. Um, okay, so no benefit. So 11. All right, so you are running. I mean, just go well, leaping up these, these levels, these stairs that you've gone down, uh, rushing out to get this guy out to the... The open open air um, and uh, you'll be able to get him out there and uh, you kind of um, um, immediately do that sort of CPR to kind of get some of this out of his lungs um, you've got that rebreather from before so you can get him kind of that filter and and oxygen and um, he kind of does that thing where where he's purple in the face um, but once you get him out there and you spend a couple minutes with him, 
you will see that he is breathing shallowly. Okay. Uh, I'll just put him somewhere where there's a breeze and uh, uh, and kind of make sure that he's not going to get re-exposed. Okay. Um, are you, uh, Xavier, are you back? Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, you're talking to uh, Trace, um, and you will see uh, Ringo takes this guy who was leading you down and vaults up the stairs to get him out of here. Okay. What do you do? I got my um, gas mask on. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Okay, well, I'll definitely um, uh, wait for everybody to come back. Um, well, I'll start moving quietly forward, um, talking on the comms to these guys, find out what their uh, position is, and see how close I am. But okay. I, will not, I will not get too close and approach these other guys. Right. Um, so... Uh, you can uh, move them. It's going to be a couple minutes before they get down to this area. Um, Ringo's going to have to come back down, um, and those guys are going to have to come back, come down whichever way that they head down, sort of the, the main. They got to get to a freight elevator and, and that kind of thing. Um, um, uh, can I get close enough to observe what's going on, moving slowly forward? You'd have to go. Do you want to? Do you want to get within range? <laughs> no, I need to wait. Um, okay, I was just making sure. Does this seem like the the time at which maybe we should have you roll your covert entry? Uh, I can do that. Yeah. Okay, covert entry is cool. All right now, what do I? Okay, what do I have to go with this? Um, Bio beer pack. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I, 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 it sounds like more of a stealth thing instead of a, a talking thing. It, it, it is. Um, do you have any intel? You could always spend intel after the roll, too. You just tell me what, what you're bringing to bear on it. Um, I don't have intel. I use my uh, credentials already, which shouldn't help in this uh, situation. Right. Uh, my fast talk is with dead people. Fuck. Um, shit. Uh, I will talk. I will get on the comms with uh, Trace and Rake, or especially Trace, and say, "What do you got for me to know what's going on? I need the layout so I can. I'm, I'm trying to get something to work with him." So actually, I can... this seems a great time for maybe Rake to make an assist with you because he's got his drone moving through the area. Oh, around. hey, look at that. Does that sound good? Yeah, I sound like, that's great. Uh, so, Rake, do you want to do that? That sounds like a plan. Oh, awesome. <clears throat> Since we've got things in position, go ahead and roll whatever your Ho links hopefully, are. Hopefully you have po positive links with me. <laughs> I don't think I have any links, unfortunately, with Xavier. Uh, hmm. Links. Mm, Daddy, bye-bye. No, oh, sorry. That's... Um, I don't have any links with with, with well, Xavier. Do I, do I? What do I roll then? Just it's just two d six. So you need a seven or better. Okay, let me see. Roll two d six. E. Fuck. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> All right. Duh. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Nice drive in there with the drone. Uh, Hit me right in the yeah. back. Knocked me right to the guns <laughs> of the other guy. I wasn't there. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. So, so, so uh, Scott, let me kind of describe what's going on as you're going down. And um, I assume you want to get into the system, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so as you're starting to get into the system and you guys are moving, you kind of get onto the elevator um, and you're heading down, you kind of pull that up and immediately you'll kind of realize that this kill team, they're kind of monitoring things um, and they've probably noted the movement of the drone and or this elevator going down. I'm back, by the way. Um, but let's have you roll your login for this uh, 
system, and this is the, the whole of this upper rigs computer system. Um, keeping in mind that uh, they've kind of hacked into it and they're using it as their own, so um, that's part of the reason to try and get control of it. All right, that's synth. That is synth to log in. Let's see. Where Uh, seven nine, and I will spend an Intel since I spent some time studying this to get it. Perfect. You are ten. in clean. Um, you have access to to the system here, um, um, and I will say that you will see essentially the big like matrix system of the the rig. I mean, it's it's essentially like a wireframe of the. Uh, the rig itself with with I means very primitive uh, it's got the VR of the various locations of the the cameras um, and and so you can can see the, the visuals of that and you've got essentially the door lock systems and things it's not particularly sophisticated you can see the communications ar array that is that is essentially cycling because it can't go out so it's got no external internet or anything like that and then down sort of in the belly of this thing you will see this uh, very different looking piece of uh, programming uh, clearly whatever deck that the uh, kill team has you'll see it's it's like a little uh, pyramid um, and you can see floating by it is a nasty piece of black ice oh uh I better get rid of that before it attacks me. Do you want to try and uh, uh, disable it? Let's see. What do you do to the... When you attempt to evade, destroy, or disable, you can move in on it. It hasn't activated, and you've spotted it with your excellent roll. You could go in and try to, to disable it. <clears throat> um, let's see. What else do I have? Yes, I guess I, I will do that before he I take the advantage to to sneak attack before it gets activated. Okay. All right. So this is a very dangerous thing. You have some. Do you have some tools for the melt ice? Um, I don't have anything specifically for it. When I got into the system, it says when you successfully compromise security, you get you can get hold. So um, yeah, if you want to, you could you could start by compromising. Uh, so though that's just for the systems and the subsystems machine. It's not actually for the ice. The ice is something separate from uh, that. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, I'll just it'd be my base roll then, I guess. Yeah, roll edge. Is edge is edge what it is for? For melt ice, yeah. For melt ice. Oh, maybe I should. Is there a way to sneak past it? Maybe that might be. Uh, that would be evading it. So that's sort of the same thing. That's still edge? Yep. <clears throat> All right, well, I don't have any other choice at this point. Uh, six, so I guess I use another intel to boost it up to, to seven to at least. All right. Um, so uh, tell me how your it's going to execute some of its uh, attack routines on you. But you're going to be able to, to negate it, uh, um, so it can't do anything else. Um, what do you want to do? How does it? How do you destroy it? Um. Describe that to me. Uh, basically, it'll be like, um, uh, uh. I'll uh, sort of surround it in uh, uh, sort of uh, chains that look like uh, you know ma matrix uh, uh, code that sort of slowly wrap around and uh, basically uh, squeeze and crush it uh, 
uh, to, to, to death, but take damage in the process, basically, and prevent it from getting out. All right. Um, do you have hardening or any kind of uh, armor on your deck? Uh, yes, it has two hardening. Okay, uh, so it's gonna. So one of the routines is gonna hit that, and essentially, you'll, you'll it does that feedback thing to your deck, and essentially your buffers will burn out as it stops it from pushing forward on that. Um, uh, but at the same time, it runs this this beam down your line uh, 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 secondarily and you get this uh, feedback. Um, uh, you've probably been hit by black eyes before, have you? Uh, yes, it's pretty rare, but... Yeah, what's it like when you... Because it does one harm to you, armor piercing. Kind of comes through and hits you. Um, what is that like? Um, it's... I would probably imagine that it's it's like getting electrocuted. Um, uh, probably body body spasms um, and uh, you know the nervous system is sort of uh, affected such that I you know I I twitch for a while. All, all right. Um, so you do manage to crush it. You get that feedback. Why don't you go ahead and roll your harm move? Um, and uh, Ben, uh, Matt, yeah. uh, sorry, uh, Rake and uh, Chip, as you guys are going down an elevator with the with Bear, um, you will see that Trace is logged in, and then you see him do that spasm and and collapse to the the floor of the elevator. You know, we've really got to install a SimSense module on that guy. Uh, well, I probably I go to his cold. side and uh, apply medic. Okay. Oh. All right, um, Scott, um, you have a, a choice here. You're out of action. You take uh, another harm. Uh, you lose a piece of cyberware, or you lose a body part. I'm going for more harm. Okay, so you, you have this, a second harm. Um, uh, ben, um, mm. you get over to him. You kind of get your, your light in his eyes. You realize he's gotten some neural shock. Go ahead and roll mm -hmm. cool for me. All right. Back him. First aid! <laughs> yes! Uh, so seven, eight. Um, uh, so he can heal you two segments, Scott. Woohoo! Ben, what's, what's unusual? How do you treat this kind of neurofeedback? So um, uh, I... I uh, uh, mutter under my breath. Oh man, it's like one of my operations that I've uh, done. I remember this one. I was doing the um, Bobby here, and uh, I was trying to install this thing in his head. And he whips out a thing, and he's trying to recall uh, the thing. And then he, and um, this is just like that other operation I did the other day. And you know, <clears throat> and he applies this, and his hands are moving really fast, and he applies a derm uh, in just the right place. Awesome. Kind of get it on the back, sort of the spinal column, to kind of do some some numbing there at the medulla oblongata. And uh, you'll be able to to heal the two harm that you took, Scott. Look That's at that. Awesome. Um, let me ask you, Chip, uh, as you uh, before you meet up with Xavier, anything else you're doing? You might be muted. Yeah, sorry about that. That's cool. The first thing is, because we came down the elevator, and I'm sorry, I had to run away for a second. Sure, sure. Because my one-year-old with my three-year-old's ass, and I'm strangely proud of him. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so we, we saw like a, somebody collapse from the disease, right? Yeah, so... Well, Chip is, is completely entrepreneurial, and uh, he's, he's, got, he's gathering footage as well. So what he would want to do, if we were seeing somebody drop from this disease while we're coming into the place... Uh, and we had gas masks, I think I yeah, heard, it's, right? It's actually, it's actually not a disease, it's nerve gas. Nerve gas, okay, nerve gas. Um, but uh, he wants to collect kind of biological collateral while generating good footage. Um, so he would take a knife and kind of stab up one of the corpses. Okay. And he kind of drop it into a, a baggie, I'm presuming, at least, if nothing else. 
like the gas mask would have had something in the packaging, you know, he could, you know, sure. kind of semi securely uh, isolate and get some, uh, some of the biological material here. Absolutely. I'm so glad I'm not with you right now. Yeah, you can get a little, a little, uh, uh terrorist tourism, uh, there and, uh, uh, get that uh, get that wrapped up. Um, I'm going to cut forward, Scott, uh, Carl, okay. you guys. Yep. Um, I'm going to yeah. cut forward to you guys having met up down below decks. Does that seem cool? Yep. Yep. Um, uh, what Scott can tell you is there besides the the guys who are downstairs, there's probably another handful of people on the vessel who were hadn't quite made it to enclosed areas or were out having a smoke um, who, who remain alive on the, the, the uh, rig. And Scott tells us that. I'm yeah. sorry, uh, Trace tells us that. Yes. Uh, Trace, I need you to ping those people on their personal computers and tell them to stay, stay outdoors in the fresh air, that there's biological stuff in the air and they need to be clear of it. Uh, they're not at their personal computers. No, I'm. I'm sure everybody has a cell phone or something. You're a techie guy. See, I figure we gotta save them people if we can. And I, I'd really, I really think it's a good idea if we can get them clear. We don't need any more ghosts on our conscience, right? I'll, I'll do my best. All right, I'm, I'm trusting you with that. Okay course okay. otherwise i'm gonna have to go up there and clear them out myself so you know don't let me down here please I just keep in mind they may not check their phones they may you know i'm sure well I, i'll trust you with it if you can figure that out you know we got to keep them people you know they don't deserve any of that of course not all right trace I assume you don't do that. No, I, I don't. Okay. Well, I, I look like I'm. I look like I, I, I'm. I, I'm doing. It. It'd be really easy to to, to send out, you know, a message. I put in the minimum amount of effort to to look like that I did it. Okay, that seems reasonable. Um, so you guys are gathered together. Is, um, is it obvious that I mean? Is it obvious to me that he did it? He didn't do it, or is it not obvious? Uh, th that, well, I don't. Probably not. I don't think it'd be obvious. Yeah, I think you're a little more <laughs> occupied right now. This, yeah, that's fine. Unless, unless we want to go to, to to some moves there, I think. No. Nope. Okay. Well, I mean, if I don't, if I notice it, I'll make a move. If I don't notice it, I won't. Well. Uh, if if you if, if you want to contest this, I will go to some rolls, Carl. Yeah, well, I will, but I mean, I have to know it first. I mean, I'm going to fast talk him. No, this is the, the, the it is a question of noticing it is what I'm asking. If you want, right? Okay. Um, no, no, no. Okay, that's fine. I I don't notice it. That's fine. Okay. If you want to notice it, you roll. Yeah, well, I or, do want to notice, but I don't think it's realistic. That I mean, it very easily he could have done it. I, I mean, did I hear you say this? Or I'm sure. Okay, fine. I'll try and notice it. Then. Okay, so Scott, um, why don't you roll? Act under pressure. Act under pressure. That's cool, right? That is cool. Cool. <laughs> Trace, for the love of God, would you just do what he says? It is not that big of a deal. I, what do you do? You want to have the gigantic, monstrous killer come after you in in the afterlife, or do you just want to? push some damn buttons on the damn phone. It's not that hard. Just help us out here. We're trying to be a team. So go ahead and roll style, Carl. <laughs> so, Scott, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But you have to act under pressure. But if you do do it, you get to mark experience, Scott. You might be muted. 
Yeah, it's got to uh, be two. Nope, I, I, will, I, will, I will, for the experience. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, I will. Uh, I will be sure to do it. No, I uh, uh, but I will also. <laughs> um. Oh, let's see. How pissed does this make me? Hey, I got a twelve. You're happy. <laughs> No, he, he agrees to do it. Well, let's uh, put it I this will, way. I, I, hang I, on, I, hang I, on. I, let Scott finish. Uh, yep. I, I apologize. I'll also uh, send a, me uh, a message out uh, uh, to international uh, immobiliary <laughs> implicating uh, uh, Xavier in the uh, the operation with the, the dog. Okay. So <laughs> you put that away for later. Okay. So now do I get a mark experience because he fucked me back? Oh, that seems good. Yeah, why don't you mark experience, Carl? <laughs> okay. Nice. Um. So. There, it's done. You Come guys. On. I feel better now. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Um, you know, so let's take a five minute uh, bio break and then we're going to continue on with you guys um, uh, dealing with the elevator, okay? I start shooting people. Sounds like on a good my idea. Team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I got to ask you other guys that have kids. Yeah. yeah. The, the two children were on the bed and the one year old, and they whip each other's asses back and forth a lot. But the one-year-old seized the initiative, and when the three-year-old was unsuspecting, he shoved him off of a bed. And, like, the beds are pretty high in this rental house. And the, the three-year-old took a bad And I gotta say, I the daring of the one-year-old. Is that not the right way to look at it? You know, uh... I, I think there's multiple ways to answer that, and one coddling your children to uh, to say that oh you know that wasn't very nice and that wasn't fair and stuff like that to a certain extent doesn't work. Uh, well, especially since a one year old won't be able to to process that. You know, would it be rude of me to say that I'm fine with it because you know that's a chance of one less liberal. <laughs> <laughs> I think you get a mark experience for that. Um, I, I interrupted Carl, and I, I didn't. I, I, I want to go ahead and give him whatever opportunity he wants to answer the question. But um, personally, I think that uh, you probably don't want to create an environment where this is something you have to deal with all the time. You know, oh, so, I've already fucked up then. Okay, well, because if we, you're, we had a beach tent, and I, I was laughing my ass off. Cause I love watching like the two of them. Yeah, three and one. They're both like basically half a retard, right? Um, and <laughs> and so they came up with this game together uh, on their own volition, where one would go outside the tent and one would stay inside the tent, and the one outside the tent, who is invariably the bigger one, would come charging one inside the tent down. And I was just amused as hell watching them play this game. Okay. No, I, I'm, I'm fine with that as long as you just... It, it, it's... Uh, it just as a parent, it's just... look To some extent, it's uh, looking forward to what... what okay... My actions today. What 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 am I going to have to be dealing with tomorrow because of that? If that makes any sense. Yeah, I, I you know, actually everything. Yeah, I in a lot of ways, and I might I might be looking at it too ideologically, but to me, in what I see from both of them in, the, in that game, I like. Um, it's well, about fucking like an initiative and going at it and freaking challenge and the little one especially. It's like the it's like the lesson of baseball. Baseball builds character because baseball is a game of failure. 
if you're the best baseball player in the world, you still fail like 66% of the time, right? Right, 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 um, right. The, the little one was learning that lesson that he just kept getting knocked down and he kept getting back up. I loved it. <laughs> okay. No, I'll buy that. I mean, one of the things that Linus hasn't learned is that he's bigger than Elliot. And Elliot is pushes him around and, you know, punches, you know, in his wussy little way that he punches and stuff like that. And I tell him, Linus is going to realize he's bigger than you one day. He's going to sit on your head. And I'm going to sit there and laugh at you. <laughs> <'Cause I'm> like, <laughs> and, you know, and Linus needs to learn that lesson that he's, you know, that he doesn't need to take that crap. I actually, I had in one round of the game, because my wife got mad, I invented the scoring system for it. Um, <laughs> in one round, the, the, the mercy rule got invoked on Leo's behalf because James charged at him 10 times. And in 10 tries, the three year old did not take the one year old off his feet. <laughs> I don't know if this helps or not, but my kids. <laughs> play a game called Hammer Nail that they came up with. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. They take a hammer to your fingernails. <laughs> it, it involves couches and wrestling and stuff. So, you know, it, it, I think it's just part of having kids. I'm just imagining. I, I love, I love watching the, the creativity, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like watching these two little idiots. They don't know nothing. And they just on their own come up with a game. And it's the dumbest thing you've ever seen. You know? Yeah, we used to play, they would play like, you know, they had Lego games. And then Elliot Linus would make up new Lego games from it. And they were completely unworkable. I mean, they would be, they would last either an infinite amount of time or like two seconds. Because it would be easy to just to be over. And I'm just looking at this going... Okay, this is never going to fucking work. But y'all might go, nope, they need to figure this out. Well, my, my kids love to play, my older kids love to play Munchkin forever. Like, I, there is no, like, there is no end, end point, you know, until they get every card in the deck out. And you're, like, going, like, this just doesn't make sense anymore. But it's like, whatever. Those, those are the best Munchkin games, though. When you can actually legitimately just keep blocking each other, and it's, like sometimes Munchkin is almost endless. <laughs> well, yeah. Except like if they... nobody's got that wandering monster card, you know, or if they've right. already been burned, you know. <laughs> well, they they don't have the uh, how how would you put it um, the gameplay chops yet to actually do Munchkin viciously. No, no, so. I, I think children. Are probably like the, the way that Munchkin should actually be played. <laughs> okay. I played it. It's funny, I played it with a kid. I guess he was eleven or twelve. Well, my nephew, and uh, you should have seen it. He was just intuitively. He was cheesing and he was gloating and he was dancing around the table, rubbing it in everybody's faces. He was just smacking everybody around. And then when somebody just played, okay, level 20 monster, plus wandering monster, plus, you know, and they started like, piling up all the shit on him, and he died. Oh, the tears. <laughs> Literally, which was weird. I was like, oh, bro, don't cry, come on. I'm not going to cry in a game of munchkin. Uh, See, that's just that wrong tone. What, you going to cry? That's what you need to do. Did you ever tell you you're my favorite daughter? <laughs> Did you ever see that? No. See the great Santini. If you want to see a uh, great, uh, wonderful uh, parenting tips, Robert Duvall plays a uh, you know a marine, and he's uh, his son is like this um, uh, basketball player. They always play basketball together. So at one point, his son, you know, he becomes eighteen. He finally is good enough to beat his father, and he beats him by one point. And so dad brings out the ball and goes, "Got to win by two. Got to win by two. And he's looking at no, no, I won. He goes, no, got to win by two, got to win by two. And you know he's going to foul the shit out of him to win. And so he's going upstairs. The kids go, no, that's the end of the game. Uh, you know, I'm out. You, I won. And so the dad walks behind him with the basketball while bouncing it off his head. He goes, ever tell you my favorite daughter? Hike up that skirt there. Come on. And just, you know, bouncing it off his fucking head. <laughs> I was like, oh. Yes. His mother, it's funny, his mother is like, takes him outside and then, you know, he's, he's sitting there with his room 
and he's watching his dad practice basketball and his mom says to him do you realize you, this is how your father apologizes to you he's never had to practice <laughs> No, I don't realize that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, parenting tips from Full Metal Jacket. It's better than what the world's serving up these days. Yeah. <laughs> and my brother what, you entitled? Some book. About how it's okay for boys to be princesses. And I was like, yeah, yeah, get that. It'll look real nice in my fireplace. <laughs> you know? So, you. anyway, uh, where we're at, uh, you guys have made your way down here uh, into the, the bowels of this rig. Um, metal, uh, pipes, all kinds of. of uh, stuff this is a, a mobile platform uh there are, are tech devices and things around you kind of wake, make your way through uh workshops and rooms and and bodies you know essentially people uh you know uh ran to get to secure areas and uh, dropped um it seems to you like the the gas is probably starting to dissipate now um you know that those guys are down in sort of the main uh, elevator room down to the, the facility down below. Um, they're, they're aware of you. Scott has control or at least a full entry into the computer systems here um, and has dealt with the, the black ice. Uh, um, and uh, you guys are kind of uh, set and ready. So how do you want to approach this? Okay. There's two ways we can do it. One, um, we can still go down there and convince these guys that we're doing something, that we're there to support them. If you want, we've we got gas masks, we're prepared, um, so we can do that, uh, uh, which could end badly if we roll, if it doesn't work out. Uh, uh, or we could do it by stealth, and uh, yeah, twice as long, honestly, I'm not as good as, I'm not as, uh, well, if we do it by um if we do it by stealth, what we could, uh, uh, Trace could uh, have some of the elevators go move away, open up on possibly on uh, distant, more distant places, like we're doing something else, like we're going to the helicopter or something like that. Um, do you guys? I, uh, uh, that's what I do. I come in. I can tell them that you know, we're we're with them and that the the knock at the gas has worked out great, and we can move forward. Um. At that point, when you say that, Ringo looks at you, and he cycles his gun and says, I vote for option three. I don't mind option three, but we have them, to do it. We need to do it while they're off balance instead of prepared in a hardened position. Them be some murderous scumbags. I don't see them walking yeah. away from this. That, that, that's, that's fine. But again, we're trying to get them off balance so we can start that. You go in and start shooting. They're on defense. We're on offense. We lose. All right. Just as long as we are on the same page here, right? Uh, it doesn't bother me at all about people, you know, uh, operations people. That's different. I'm talking about I don't want to get there's no need for collateral damage. Okay. <laughs> So my okay. So how do you guys want to do it? What do you guys see? What, what if if we're gonna go and walk in again? I need your help. We need to do this in in uh, some kind of fashion. We're also maybe maybe exposing ourselves a little bit. Now, did we already do your covert entry roll, Carl? No, we did not. We okay. did a uh, because there's there's stuff I get with that. Sure. So let's let's do that right now. This is you sitting down, looking at the maps, and figuring out where where the 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 sort of the things are and kind of doing your planning. This is your gig. Um, well, is there any way that he can roll that we don't see it? So we don't know if he rolled well or not? Uh, why? We, why? why? I don't know. I, I'll just, I won't look you for my own sake. You just got to play it. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> I'm just going to scroll up so I don't see it because I want to play it out as if I didn't know. Okay. Carl? Okay. So, so, so you've got cool. Are yes. you going to be rolling for this? And you have some, and your mother ducking it. So yes. anything you do here is going to apply to the whole group. Okay. Okay. Um, is it even reasonably possible to do it 
with uh, essentially fast talking them to to into it, do it with a uh, with face instead of with uh, with uh, stealth. It is, but it uh, in your assessment, that's going to be more difficult. Okay, that's um, fine. Okay, we'll do um, because their job, their job was pretty easy: kill everyone on this station. Yeah. You okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, you've got that's some fine. tools to do that, but on the other hand, you want to keep some of those resources to, to get down yeah, below. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll try and do covert entry. Okay. Um, and I guess I, everybody can help me later, right? Um, so I'll let one person help you with the, the, the covert entry thing here, because uh, it really is your gig. Um, uh, so oh, who's oh. the person with the best links with you? I have no idea. Who is it? Let's see. Does, does everybody hate me? Let's see. Uh, I have two with you. Woohoo! So I think Trace is okay. your best so bet. Trace, so Trace, I want I you. had two with you, I mean. <laughs> well, so you've, Trace, you've learned something about him, so that'll get I have things. learned something about him. So Trace, this is what I want. I want you to, um, to get the plans up so I can see uh, alternate ways in here. That's essentially what he's going to do, I assume. Okay. So, yeah, use the cameras since I've gotten to their system to find out their there locations and how we can get around them. Okay. Right. So, uh, uh, Scott... Fortunately, my ass is on the line as well, so I have to help him. So, actually, let's have you start by... We'll have you do your compromise security, and we'll roll that over to you assisting uh, Xavier with his planning. Does that seem good? Okay. Sure. Okay. So let's start with your compromise security and your rolling mind, and you get some bonuses on this, right? Um. If I'm successful, I get bonuses. Yep. <laughs> if I roll terribly, uh. <laughs> Uh, you really hold that against me, man. I just, I, you know, it got, you know. No, I, I, I don't give you any help at all. Um, okay. So now, uh, um, you're gonna go ahead and roll for your links to assist him. Of course, Scott, the good news is um, you get to mark experience for both of those. <laughs> nice. <laughs> My heart just isn't into helping Xavier at the I moment. think that actually makes perfect sense there. Um, uh, by the way, everybody uh, for where we're at in the mission should mark two more XP. Cool. <laughs> Carl, go ahead and roll covert entry. Bum bum bum. Uh, or rather, bum 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 yeah, bum 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 I gain one hold. Okay. What's a hold? A hold means I can uh, I get some information, but in this case, I bypass the security system or guard, disable a guard, disable the security system, or escape notice. So, um, it looks like they've kind of locked down the the doors. It's um, the the sort of central room where this elevator is. Is you know can again these are are metal walls. It's like a two-floor thing uh, with a uh, walkway around the upstairs. And then there's the cycling chamber on the floor below with the elevators. So they probably got some people spread out throughout there. Unfortunately, uh, Trace isn't able to get into the cameras in there, so he can't tell you where people are at. Um, so... How do you get past that? 
How do we get past the cameras? The, 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 the security here seems to be primarily these people on site. What is it that you do as a, an amazing infiltrator? What is the method that you use to, uh, um, you can just, if you want to disable the cameras, you could do that. If you want to uh, get in quietly, you could do that to do an ambush. But you'd have to tell me how you did either of those. Okay. Well, since I have realized that I, my mojo is just not working today and it's just not going well, I take my disguise kit and I turn it all black. And so that becomes my you know, fake stealth suit that has worked out a little bit better. And I go back to the old school way. I was like, I don't do this, but I was taught it. I know how to do it. Scrounging around in the, in the alleys and stuff like that. And I do know how to get bypass my dredge those memories up and I sneak around uh, staying in the shadows and move out and uh, and get what, past what's your what's your hard point access that that lets you in a hard point access to the um, to this to these room with these guards oh room with the guards um, it is the ventilation shaft because they knew since it was flooded with uh, nerve gas that nobody'd be in there. Okay. And I was able to siphon off the gas, and they 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 didn't even pay attention to it. They're like, "No, we don't have to worry about that." Okay. So, Carl, you uh, the the rest of the team is back. You are up in this ventilation shaft. But now I can use my mother duck, right, or not? Yeah, I mean, if you want to want to bring them along in this ventilation shaft. Well, ventilation shaft to a um, to a uh, to a room right next right next to it. Well, okay. So, well, anyways, tell, tell me what you're well, no, yeah, I was going to say. So, um, you can decide how you want to mother duck this if you want to do it with partial or right, whatever. Right. You are are an upper thing uh, of this uh, uh, sort of big elevator room. For you know, it has essentially water pumps and things like that. It has the 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 uh, elevator underwater. And you can see that there are a dozen guys in here, um, uh, a couple by the doors um, that are, are kind of doing guard duty because they're still alerted from the elevator and everything from before. Um, and uh, there's uh, a team of like six of them that are getting loaded up with like uh, uh, backup diving gear and stuff like that in case things go pear-shaped and there's there's some tech guys in there and they're all kind of, they're clearly getting suited up to do an op downstairs. I have no gear okay, and I'm above them as they're, they're in this small room all together? They're in this big room. All together, big room. Oh, yeah. okay. All there's, together. There, there. I mean, so, so imagine that up on the upper deck of one of the the sides, there's a couple guards there, uh, and the couple on the other side. There's the team downstairs, you know, at the ground floor by the elevator, getting getting stuff together. They're they're packing their gear up and getting ready to, to go down. Okay, so, um, okay, and so the they're the entry point to the elevator is right there, and yeah. these guys are directly in the way. Yeah, it, it looks like what they're going to try is is that they are about to send their team down. Okay. So uh, if their team goes down, we only have six of them to deal with. That's true. So you guys want to wait for their team to go down and then get the uh, um, get the six, and then we can go down and take care of the other six while they're down there, split them up. Or unless you've got something that takes them all out. I mean, it's a big room. It takes them all out at once. Uh, I'll just very quietly over the con. If you're relaying that over the con, yes. I'll just say, uh, well, I don't know if, if we make a if we take this team out separate, then the other team is going to ambush us when we get out of that elevator. If they know. Uh, we can jam their comms. Okay. Or, that uh, seems like a uh, good chip, precaution. Yeah. Chip. Chip, can you jam? Can you jam the team one from team two? Of course I can. Okay. Okay. So I mean, is there I mean, anyway? I mean, the better better idea is to take out all twelve of them at once. But I don't know if we got anything to do that. 
Well, beyond me. To the elevator. Well, you you and the droid. I mean, if you guys want to do that, that's fine. But they're a kill team. I mean, uh, uh, here here we go. Can, if you can this jam is, their comms, it makes most sense to split them up. Since I'm watching them now, can I do uh, an assess on the team? Um, you know, are there any cy- Do any of these guys got cyber? Or are they just agent sure. type guys? Uh, go or- ahead and roll edge. Okay, ten. Ten. Look at that. Uh, so you have three hold, Carl. Um, okay. Now you can ask questions. Can ask questions. I'm getting some echo. Yeah. I think that. Anyway, okay. Uh, so you can ask questions off that uh, assess list. Okay. What? How is um, how is this group vulnerable to me? Um. Probably that. Uh, um. They have. Uh, uh, they are kind of concentrating on their task, um, and. Uh, they they've done what is to them the easy part. They're 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 taking their time and being careful before they go down. They're clearly nervous about heading down, um, uh, uh, so they are a little tense that way. Um, and it does look if you split them up like the heavy hitters are going to go downstairs. Um, if I can interrupt for a minute there, Xavier. Yeah. An idea might be. If we got control of this here elevator, send them, send, let one team go down. We take care of this top, and then before they get down there, send them back up. That's, I like that. Um, Trace, can, uh, Trace, uh, and, uh, 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 Ray, can you guys, work, uh, can you work on that now, or can you, um, can you have to wait? Uh, can I work? Yeah, I guess I can work. On it now. If you want me to stay up here, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, we're all going to be up here for now. Okay. So, um, let's see. Where can I gain the most? Let's see. Uh, do I notice despite an effort to conceal it? Um, what's the best way in and out? Where do I gain it? Who's, who, what is my biggest threat in this situation? Probably something going to go down. What was control here? I know that. What is my best way in a way past? What is my best way past this group? Jeez, let me think here. Um, Killing them all. They, ha- there has to be something uh, on a site that is an alternate, like means of getting down there. Okay, um, because you, you you kind of didn't look into that because you you were looking at coming in through the elevator or the the sub thing. So, yeah. um, it might take some technical things, but they probably have an emergency like rescue pod to get down there. Okay. Um, what do I notice despite an effort to conceal it? Uh, that there are uh, uh, there are explosives uh, uh, that they've brought with them. They've got them kind are of those... packed away, but they've got they've got some uh, some serious explosives there. Okay, is that all going down with the uh, group, or is it in, like is it doesn't it look like out? they're taking that the the full pack of it down. It looks like they're taking half of it down. Okay, so the guys, the plan is we're going to let the six guys go down. We're going to hit the other guys, um, and then we're going to stop the elevator and uh, bring it up or tell them to uh, bug out or something like that to get them up here, and then they'll be on the elevator, and we can kill them right in the elevator. Okay. I am going to Mother so you Duck. Don't, you don't want to try to, to find the alternate route? Um, we've got 12 guys that are in our way. I, mean, we can, I guess we could do that, but it's time to go. We're, we're firing into an, uh, the only elevator down there. We're probably going to end up using the alternate route. 
<laughs> oh, well, good point. Yeah. Um, I mean, we got these 12 guys, and they're going to kill everybody in there. And they've used gas in the first place, and they might do it again. Um, I mean, if the six heavy hitters come in and do this, yeah, actually, we could just lock them out of the elevator and kill them in the elevator. We could drown them or something if we really wanted to. Maybe. Um, we're going to have oh. the robot and uh, Ringo. And I'm going I'm to, uh, you know, high position. Watch, I can take some shots, too. So we're going to have three people, and we're going to be able to do them first. And so it, 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 those six guys are probably going to end up, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Yes or no? Sounds good to me. I okay. like option three. Okay. Um, so, so so I understand that you're in position to take some shots. You guys are getting it so you can blow open the doors and uh, Bear and uh, Ringo can take shots. When that happens, we're Chip and... Ringo, Ringo, do you have any night vision? Can I, can I finish my question? Before, I'm sorry. Before I, so uh, let, me, let me do that and then let me have you ask that question. Uh, so where are Chip and Trace going to be? Um, I guess in the ventilation uh, shaft above hacking the, the elevator. Okay. Um, and Chip would be kind of skulking behind trying to get good shots. Okay, that seems fair. Scott, why don't you roll manipulate systems to get a hold of those elevator systems? That's with synth. So that is a nine, right? Yep. Okay, so you have control of the elevator system. Sound good? Sound good. Okay. Um, so, Carl, you were saying to um, Ringo. Well, I, I was deciding, okay, so I was trying to figure out, because um, I was thinking we could do a, uh, um, like the light, you know, if, if he had night vision, then the lights could go off in there, you know, uh, Trace might be able to turn the lights off, uh, maybe put a, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, you know, just as he comes in, have an alarm go off, something like that. But anyways, we're going to wait for the six guys to go down. Okay. So you'll see them load up. They load up, uh, you know, sort of full containment gear, and uh, they armor up. Uh, they uh, All of them will put on body armor and get all of that set. Um, and uh, the team up here loads up. Um, and... Uh, the six guys go down with their uh, block of explosives, and okay. they soon, head down. As soon as the door closes, Trace not uh, sent, take a, have an alarm go off and open the doors, so we can uh, re we hit them. Okay, it's another synth thing since this is not the elevators but the actual room security, Scott. Okay. Not a problem. So the elevator shuts, the door, that top door shuts, and it uh, uh, moves to go down, and it will descend, um, and there's this sort of sudden alarm and flash of lights, and the doors come open. Um, there's six guys spread around the room, uh, uh, all serious badasses. What do you do, Ringo? Um, I start, uh, I start picking them off as soon as I can. Okay, so mix it up. you are going to mix it up. Okay, go ahead and roll with meat. Okay. Um, I can actually use synth because of right. my abilities. And, okay, so, 10. 10, and what kind of harm does that do? Um... We are not underwater yet, so I have not put uh, frangible rounds in. So it is armor piercing, okay. breaching, and um, let's see, armor piercing and breaching. Uh, let me see if there's any other tags that are useful for this. Uh, yep, armor piercing, loud, dangerous, big. So, so boom, one of these six guys, bloof, 
you blow a hole in him and he spins back and and is most of him is splattered against the wall but uh, uh he goes down uh ben um you are are you bringing bear to bear yes okay and what is the weapon on bear he's got uh, guns and what it's is what, got guns what, what kind of guns are they uh five harm guns okay all right, then um, go ahead and uh, roll, mix it up for me. Giant mini guns. Giant like mini guns, yeah. Fortnite. You have 20 seconds to comply. Meat? Did you say meat? Uh, yeah, but you synth, use synth right? for this. Right. Oh, bad. No, it's, no, he can't. That's it's 10. 10. That's 10. So uh, it comes in and it lights up another one of these four guys. Um, e even with their body armor, um, the, the five harm, uh, from the, the, the armor piercing will go through and five harm here will drop one of, of these guys. There are four guys left in here. Carl, you said you were taking shots. Okay. I am going to play hardball. I will come in, reveal myself and have my gun down right at, at somebody go surrender now or you're all dead. We have the superior advantage on you. Okay. Got that situation where you've done that flash and come in. Okay, let's let's see it. Let's see edge here, Carl. Eleven. What kind of gun do you have? I've got a uh, a uh, whatever it is. The pistol, uh, small pistol. It's a. Uh, Quick to what is it? It's in here somewhere. Uh, silence semi-auto pistol. Okay, that is up on this guy's face. He's turning around. Um, uh, uh, she looks at you, and you'll see her uh, hands up. Um, and there, the other four guys in here are. Uh, sorry, the other three guys were still alive. Um, let's see here. I think they hold. So okay, you've so got a gun to this woman's face. Um, the other three in here, they they haven't put their guns down, but they're kind of standing there. Drop your guns. You can leave now. Drop your guns. Put your zip ties. You can all get out of here. If you don't, you're dead. She kind of looks, um, see her assess the fact that they already sent people down, um, and uh, she'll go, okay, okay, okay. Guys, drop them, drop them. And they'll drop their guns. Okay. We got zip ties or something like that. Something, I mean, they have them, something. I, have something. Yeah, that, that seems like, a, like a, a reasonable thing for you guys to have. Okay. Um, okay, now this is kind of me just playing the character that I, as I kind of see it, the whole Western justice kind of thing. I'm having, I'm conflicted just because I'm, I'm thinking they gassed this whole thing and they killed all these incidents. I think I shoot them anyway. I'm fast talking. I, we've got the mission. Do this. Justice will take them. We've got video that they killed all these guys. They can go down for it. But right now. I, I got the whole crazy eyes going, so that's you it. Take a roll to talk me down. Uh, Let's see style. There we go. Now, is there any there way go. I can use my three link with Ringo to try to counteract this? Because oh, I want him to murder all these people. Uh, it'd be with it's... it would be with Xavier. You could interfere, yes. Ah, uh, so I only got one with him. Roll you links with roll. Xavier. All right, someone roll that for me, please. Uh, what is it? Xavier? Go ahead. Daddy, by, by links with Xavier. Or links with Xavier. There we go. What did I get? Ooh, to a 10. So, Carl. Gives me negative 2. Yes, your 11 goes down to a 9. Okay. But, okay, so my fast talk, you... So here's a, here's a choice, Fabe. 
Yeah. You can do what they want and mark experience. Or if you don't do it, you have to roll to act under pressure. Um, since I'm conflicted anyway about shooting unarmed people, uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark the experience. Okay. It's like, like you guys don't even care about your Q rating. <laughs> Yeah, what was your what was your spiel on that, uh, Chip? Oh, these guys had it coming that we were we were meant to take out these kill teams, right? I mean, they would do the same to us if we let them go. It, it's not you're pushing the wrong buttons with Ringo. It's not about what they're going to do to me. It's about what they're what they're going to do to the next. Oh, but I'm not trying to push Ringo's buttons. Yeah. I'm trying to push Xavier's buttons. <laughs> oh. All yeah. right. So, so. <laughs> so you guys have these four uh, locked down. Let's assume you've got them secured. Does that seem good? Okay. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I'll just talk to uh, uh, what's uh, Rake. Rake, uh, you're a doctor kind of guy. I'd be a whole lot more peace of mindful if you can uh, put them with them their lights out if you know what I mean what do you think Ben do you think you have uh, something to trank these guys do you think you're muted for, think for the muted. record Hello? my, my yeah. flechette pistol, pistol has a uh, Drank setting? <laughs> <laughs> Santa stud! Yeah. yeah, I probably have something to, uh, I would think, to put somebody under for, especially for surgery, that kind of thing. So what is it? What is it? Is it like a like a spray hypo? Is it a, a, a patch? What are you thinking? Uh, probably a, like something like a, a, a syringe, a, you know, something that I have to inject. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so normally you'd have to spend gear to produce equipment, but I think in this case it makes sense given your moves, but I'm going to say that, that you've used those up now, okay? Okay. Okay. Good. Um, so these four out, zip tied to get them out in the other area. That took a bit to do. Talking them down, all that. So what do you guys do, so, do now? Well, the elevator, he had control of the elevator. Could he have stopped that before they got down? Scott, did you stop it before it went down? Um, I was, tr I guess I thought my plan was to, uh, as it was going down, to slowly slow it, uh, 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 down and then reverse course so it came back, uh, up, but still have the numbers look like they're counting down. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Um, so they'll feel it, they'll feel a, a weirdness there, but... <laughs> Again, there's some pressurization that goes on in that elevator because of the depth stuff. So I will say that they probably aren't going to realize that that has happened because it's kind of disorienting as they dis descend um, uh, because they've got uh, special pressurization to make sure it equalizes with down there, just throws off your balance. They don't quite realize. And the elevator comes up. And then uh, basically, uh, uh, I, I assume you want me to op open it up, and you're gonna. Well, are we gonna... all set up? Are we all set up to go? You tell me. What does it look like? Um, well, you said they get they got the other guys out of that room. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Except for the bodies. And, um, how how if we are we gonna blow this elevator to pieces if uh, if we have Ringo and and the uh, and the. Front wheel. Oh yeah, the, the fuck problem. yeah. Mind you, you can set up and you can try and, I mean, you'd have to put yourself in harm's way, but you could try and play hardball when the door's open, Carl. Uh, anybody got any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, grenade or something like that? <laughs> Every time I pull the trigger. You've got that, you've got the explosives, explosives they have up here. Oh, hey, look at that. There we go. I like the way you think. Okay, put in a, uh, put some explosives. And I'll put a little note on it. Hi, I blow up when shot. 
right in the front of the door. Like on the floor? No, I put the explosives piled up right in front of it and say, Hi, uh, I blow up when shot. And have put a little note on it. And it's just sitting out there. So when the doors open, that's what they're going to see? Yes. Okay. Uh, so what are you setting it on? I am setting it on the note on the top of the explosives. What are you setting the explosives on? I mean, it's like it's like maybe maybe a shoebox size satchel. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it'll be obvious. It's a shoebox size satchel with a note on it. Okay. I mean, it'll be right in front of them. Okay. So you're we setting can put it, it on the, the floor, prisoners out in front of that. Actually, I mean, we can put a we can put we can put an empty one in there if we want to because I probably we probably don't want to blow. I mean, this explosive is going to kill the entire room, isn't it? Um, no, no. It's probably going to take down the the um, the rig. Uh, but okay, it'll kill all them. Okay, we got a second no, way in. No, he just said the rig. As oh, in oh, 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 the, oh, oh, oh. Okay, then we'll use an empty one. Okay, but it's very clearly that we'll put like a brick in it or something like that. It's very clearly that it's their explosive bag. All right, so so the doors open. They see that. Then and what? I, and then, um, well, the the robot is. Uh, I guess we didn't do this. The robot is going to be on there facing the door. Ringo is going to be in a place to shoot the thing under under cover. Okay. And then I will be out of sight, um, and I will say to him, "You guys are dead. We're going to kill you all, and we're going to blow you all up and kill everybody unless you give it up right now." All right. So it sounds like Ringo is assisting you. Yes. And you're playing hardball. Okay, so go ahead and roll that help. Uh, roll up hardball or roll help? Or help. Links? Links. links. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, links with Xavier. I need to buy that up. Oh, there we go. Seven. And then Carl. And that's uh, Edge. That hardball is Edge. edge. You've got a plus one. Okay, so ten. Look at that. Just made it. So you do that. R Ringo's there. Uh, probably you've got the, the outline of blood from the original splatter. Um, the bear is up there, and it's huge. The minigun's sort of moving around. Um, Chip is probably leaning in, right, I'm assuming, uh, taking a shot of all this. Oh, yeah. Um, and they come up and the doors open and they are clearly ready to to come out into a firefight because they were going downstairs to go into uh, a hostile situation. Um, and uh, they're tense, um, but the guy at the front has wired reflexes um, and uh, he puts his arms up you know, just to stop everybody, and then they hear what you have to say. Can I? Oh, you mean to? Oh, and the guy just guy sto has stopped and uh, listened, and and he'll he'll look back at his team and he go. Bring the girl in. Bring the girl in, and I'll bring her in with the zip tie. Or she's she's knocked out. Okay. Sorry, she's knocked yeah, out. she's unconscious. Um, I say, I throw out the zip ties to him, put down your weapons, you're done, we're going to blow the shit out of you, we have superior firepower, we have superior, uh, we have superior position, you're all going to die, zip ties now, and you go home. Goes. That's good, that's fine, let me make you a counter offer. We're listening. I don't know who hired you. I don't know what they told you. Don't know what is going on. But if you go back, get out of here, take off, I will have how many people on your team? Five. We've got five of us. 
says, uh, I will have... But I don't tell him that. Right, right. He kind of counts the, the head there. He goes, um, I will give you, right now, I have a transferred 60 credits. Um, guys, okay. 60 um, credits okay. buys a lot of monkey-destroyed body parts. I will counter-offer you. Okay. 60 credits and one employee. Give, give me, I'm listening. What are, what are you talking about? I want one employee down there to come with us. Uh, see, that's the problem. I can't, I can't do that. <sighs> What is our mission exactly? To, well, to extract her from the situation. Okay. He says, I can go up to 75. That's what I have access to right now. Well, I can go down to 50. I need that, I need that lady. He says, can't let anybody come up from there. This, this, what's gotten outbound there is way too dangerous. Okay, now... Um, then let's engage into. Uh, I'll, I'm going to talk to. I'm trying to assess his information, or I'm trying to figure out his information if he's telling me the truth, or if he knows what's going on. Um, and go. I'll tell if he, if you can if Mike if my guy can uh, if we can prove that this person's got a virus, that's fine. You're saying that they've got something they can't get out. That's fine, but uh, I, 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 right now, I don't. That's not my information. Okay, um, let's have you roll edge. So it's uh, what am I? What am I? Uh, this is this is kind of an assess here. Okay. Okay. Nine. So your question is: Is he telling the truth about the infection, or at least does he believe it? Yeah, he does. He's okay. he's serious about not wanting that person to come up here. Okay, and um, Trace, can you verify? Is there any way we can verify this? Um, it says the systems are cut off down there. Why'd you kill everybody up here then? Those are my orders. No one else dies, right? Like everybody down there is in my mind, party to this whole biological warfare kind of thing and not deserving of my protection. But you got a lot of innocent people up here, so that's part of this deal. If we make any kind of deal, anyone that's still alive here stays alive up here. Okay, I'll, 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 that's fine. He goes, he goes, he kind of looks at the nods. He goes, yeah, okay, that, that seems um, provided I get my guys back. So you've got zip tied there? Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, just taking it to comms, shall we just... What do you guys think? I'm inclined to take this. Well, if he's telling the truth with the virus, we can't let that out. That's fine. But if he's not telling the truth, you know, our job is to get Octavia, and we want to get that reputation. But... What, oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're kind of selling her selling our reputation here to some extent but I don't know if I can take a chance with this whole virus thing so is there any way we can verify that doesn't look like it this is this is a this is a status call on your guys' end is, is the money worth it the threat uh, potentially real so they're gonna go I mean they're gonna go down and blow up the whole they're gonna, they're gonna go down and blow up the whole facility that's their plan you're not sure exactly what their plan is, but certainly it does involve it involves liquidation. Yeah, I, exp I I want them to tell me what it is. And so I am going to go down, and we are going to uh, 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 liquidate anyone down there who is uh, present. The, the place is compromised. We're going to try and uh, eliminate the team that broke in, and uh, we are going to, uh, if that fails, we're going to blow the place up with us in it. With you in it. Oh, yeah, if we can't get out, if, if we think we can't get out. Oh, so you're true believers, huh? 
which means you believe in something which is a material weakness in your position. I think you can do better than 75. God, oh, fuck it, Heidi. I'm, in da- I'm endangering the mission for, for additional profit now. <laughs> well, technically you're not, because our mission is to recover. You're endangering the, <laughs> the money, the money for more. So um, he he looks at at you, Carl. He hears I'm, that. I'm, I'm I'm. You're negotiating with me. Um, I've got a pistol pointed at the bomb. Okay, transfer ah. the transfer the credits. Seventy five. You can do better. Um. By the way, uh, you're being recorded right now. That's got to be worth something, right? So you Chip is kind of pushing on him. Okay. Trace, shut up. Shut, shut up him. Shut up him. Shut him up. Trace, what about you? The while I'm all for shutting down the, the biochemical stuff, the uh, the other team is certainly not uh uh uh, guilty of of doing any of that. No, they're professionals, though. Yeah. And, right, they're in the game. I'm, I'm not worried about them. And they did assault a Savage Pharma facility, Scott. That's true. But, uh, uh, I know that there's a League of Assassins person down there, and it might be Octavia, so I'm somewhat obligated to... Yeah, I tell him, there's still another way in, and we have control of the elevator. So you're saying take the money and fuck them anyway? Well, we can take the money and take Octavia. I like the sound of this plan. What if they're telling the truth, and this is really, really dangerous down there, and we'd like... I'm saying we have options. If it's really, really dangerous, sounds like imagine we should. The ra- Look, sounds like maybe we I should investigate to see if we can verify their down. story, right? right. Um, is there any? Ah, there's. Um, can I uh, just do uh, uh, use my serious? Uh, again, I have to self-edit to the kids. Uh, use my serious BA kind of. Look at this guy, and just ask him. You're you're willing to die for this? Is that what you're telling me? I already established it's that, that bad? with you. Time is running out. Okay. Um, can you tell if the sub's still there? Um, Trace, can you tell if the sub is the sub is still attached? I tell him we're checking on the sub that's attached. Can you do that with sonar? No. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. That would be more of probably a break thing. Oh, okay. You'd have to have yeah. it as sonar equipment or something like that. Yeah, well, I just figured there. Well, I figured there was sonar equipment on the rig. Yeah, you'd have to get up to where that's at, though. Oh, well, I figured it'd be uh, turned in with the comp- with the uh, with the computer network. That's what I was thinking. Uh, I guess what I, I while this conversation is going on, well, I guess what I'll try to do is, uh, you said that communications, uh. Uh, down there seem to be uh, cut off. Uh, cut off. Yeah. Um, <coughs> uh, shoot. I know that they have a hacker uh, in this other team named Seraphim. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I guess is there a way if I, if I were down there trying to communicate up that working together we could uh, uh, defeat it or I can look for look for if someone's trying trying to get out or something like that sure um, why don't you roll uh, login or even if they left something behind maybe um, that's synth that's synth Uh, 
seven. Nine. Nine. And I guess I'll spend my last intel. Um, you are close enough now, and you've got the, the relays enough now, and the boost, that there is a, a weak signal coming from up there, and you can hack into the, the, the data stream of that, um, and you will get this uh, 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 pixelated video feed. Um, like a video and audio feed. Live or recorded, or can I tell? Uh, it seems to be running live. It's hard, well, to, I'll... hard to see what, what it is. It's it's really pixeled. Uh, I will, I guess, watch it or try to clean it up to see if I can get an idea of what's going on. Okay. Um, Carl, this guy is standing there. He is, is uh, waiting. Yeah, we're just checking on the sub, seeing if it's there. I think we're gonna send you back down. I think we're good. Okay, cool. We'll bring it. We'll. I think we're we're almost done here. I just gotta check. Uh, 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 if your story's right, then. Fair enough. You know, I said, you know, you know who's down there. You know, who the other team is. I, I'm aware of the situation. Uh, a Carl, a Scott, it looks. You like... know, I'm interested in an exploration of the human psyche right here. Um. You say that you're committed, but how committed are you really? Right? Do you have any more of tranquilizer? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's send him back down. Well, uh, Trace, let's send him back down. Trace is in the middle of something. Okay. So, Matt, what are you doing to this guy? Are you trying to push him? I I kind of am. I want to fast talk him. I think I'm. He, he's saying that he's uh, met his bargaining limit. I don't believe him still. <laughs> and God damn it! Uh, for for all his uh, coolness, Chip's a little squirrely sometimes, and uh, his trigger <laughs> fingers get itchy. All right, <laughs> let's have you roll style, and then I'm going to cut back. To all style. right. Let's see if I can do that uh, from here. I think I can now. I'm ready to roll escape plan. <laughs> you blow that 75. I can roll it for you if you want. Yeah. I think I can roll it. Let's see. Does that work? I hit the button. No forward. Uh, Didn't show. Submit. Oh, there did that go through? oh, look at that. Eight. Goes. All right. That was the call now. Yeah. So he yep. he goes. Okay, I said. He says you you push me. And and you got about thirty seconds before this place goes up. Send the elevator down. Thanks. Now we lose everything. Uh, Scott, what are you going to do? Yeah. You, you see, they're kind of out there talking, and you will see this video feed come on, um, and uh, you see. Uh, there's a guy there. He looks like he's he, uh, sort of slumbering against this camera. Uh, I'm getting weird feedback now. On the on your line. On Skype. Uh, no, there we go. I can hear you again. Okay. Go ahead. Um, and there's it looks like there's a guy leaning against the uh. Uh, the thing uh, against this camera. Uh, can I identify, uh, based on the descriptions of the other team, who, who it might be? Looks like it might be Seraphim. Is the, are they trying to communicate? Or are they just unconscious? He, it, he looks like he's, a, uh, uh, you know, unconscious or asleep against that, that camera. 
But I don't see anyone else in the area that he's in. No, I mean, it's a very tight thing. He's clearly going from like a little webcam. Um, it looks like it's coming from the sub. It's clearly not coming from the base. Can I make the like the camera flash or or, or it's something? It's got audio. Uh, then I will say, uh, uh, basically, hello, Seraphim. Uh, uh, and this guy kind of looks up, and you hear car, car, uh, Xavier go, "Send down the elevator." Send it down. Send it down. Send it down. Um. What do you do? Um, fuck. Not enough time, but I guess, uh, um, I'll, uh, uh, close the doors and start to slow, uh, set it down, but it, do it slowly, and I'll, uh, how, how far down is it? Um. So if I stop it at the midway point, and he detonates the explosives. What would what would the effect be? Would would it destroy either the rig or the? It'll do some damage to the rig, and it'll destroy the the facility. Even if it's halfway down. Given what he said about the explosives, given the pressure wave from that, probably. I mean, you're not you're not here. Keep in mind, you're, this is not your field of expertise. Grace, if you send it all the way down, he may turn it off. Well, for, for for now, I'll, I'll set it down slowly, but I want a chance to talk to this guy first. Okay, uh, so I'm going to start a, a, a literal timer here, Scott. Um, okay, so you're sending it down slowly, Scott. What are you saying to this guy? Uh, I will say uh, uh, we're part of another team sent to retrieve someone down there. What's your status? Uh, let's uh... The facility's close. The, the sub's damage can't get can't get out. Uh, that's, what, there's just like a like there's the guy and he got loose and I, this it isn't what they told us it was. It wasn't what they told us it was at all. What it, is it? It's I just don't know. There was some sort of like temple and like a, like like some sort of place underwater here like some sort of palace and they were pulling things out what they've got i don't know what they have here but you know you gotta come and get us gotta come and get us how many of your team is still alive boom and uh the whole rig will shake guys it will shake just i mean and you guys will feel that pitch of that and uh this elevator um the, the you guys are in there it blows water up out and just sprays up into here uh um i need uh, uh xavier and chip uh and uh ringo to make uh act under pressure Uh, for whatever. Oh no, that's me. Oh me, I'm nine. I'm so I'm good. I'm five. Five. Okay. And if it's a reflexes, I'm ten. It is reflexes. Okay, so I'm ten. Okay. Um. So you. Yeah. Can I use forward for remaining assess from the facility with that? Sure. Spend it. Spend it while you got it. All right. Did that work? Absolutely. You got eight. an eight. So you are flung against the wall, um, uh, Daddy Bye Bye, um, and you're going to take two harm from that uh, as you're thrown back against it. Uh, Rake, you and Trace are out in the hallway, so you don't get the, the, the blast of this wave. Xavier, you're kind of flung out, but you kind of roll with it and go out. Um, uh, Ringo, uh, you are flung and flung up, and then when the water goes back, you go with it. Um, and you're going to take... Uh, you've got enough stuff to to probably, with between your, your myomer underlines and all that stuff, I'm going to say you're not mm -hmm. going to take any harm, but you will... You're falling into the ocean. Okay. okay. I'm making sure I keep hold of my rebreather. Okay. 
Uh, so can I can I get him? Can I help? Can I? Oh get God, him? no, no. You 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 had to do your reflexes to keep yourself from from being, uh, 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 you know, splattered there, sir. Um. So Xavier, you're in the on uh, the uh, thing. Uh, Scott, that feed will just go and go out. Was that was that explosion big enough for the for that to have been the explosives in the elevator? Yes. Um, and you can hear the uh, of the uh, facility is kind of adjusting uh, from the uh, uh, the blast wave. Um, what are you doing, Rake? So we're you said we're not in this hall. Uh, so you were out in the hallway. Room. So you didn't get hit by that big blast of salt water i mean the room is still uh uh, uh still uh wet and stuff and it kind of splashed out in this hallway you can hear the 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 the, the kind of the the lean to of this uh portable uh, uh uh rig as it starts to kind of turn and and starts to give did i see ringo disappear with the drawing in in the water uh yeah because uh, you had the drone and it, it didn't get moved by this, and you would have seen through your video feed, you would have seen Ringo uh, go falling out through the, the blown-out elevator shaft. Hmm. Um, can I see if there's any equipment around that I can make a sort of a makeshift... Uh, I don't know, rescue line... Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, how about you roll Act Under Pressure? That's cool, right? Yeah. You kind of run in looking for the emergency stuff. The good news is you get to mark yeah. experience. Um, uh, the bad news is uh, when you kind of run to do that, mm. uh, this this you can hear one of the uh, bracers on the rig give, mm. uh, and you kind of that section of the uh, hallway that you're in suddenly tilts about 35 degrees and you end up sliding down, smashing against the end of that hallway. Hmm. Um, okay. What are you doing, uh, uh, Chip? Uh, Chip would, I think, at this point, is getting a rare and exotic experience for his audience. He's gonna go with it, and and what is that? So they're they're being blasted around. They're being taken by the salt water, right? Mm -hmm. He managed to like I guess uh, evade serious damage last time, but he's he's kind of going where that takes him. Do you want to ride the wave down uh, into the ocean? Yes, yes. He feels this is good experiential SimSense footage. Absolutely. You probably are, are buffeted by one of the bodies of these unconscious people as they are washed down the elevator hole um, uh, along with you. So you're kind of stuck next to a soon-to-be corpse as you plummet uh, 50 feet into the ocean. Um, uh, All so right. And it's let's have you take another harm. All right. So it's three total then? I think so. Let me go back to my pen sheet. This is good. The harm is good for ratings. <laughs> oh my. Do you roll? Oh. What's up, Scott? Uh, since you had said that they had uh, 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 diving equipment. Uh, ready out on hand in their preparations. I'm gonna uh, put that on and grab an extra one and go. I'm going into the ocean too. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I gotta get. I want to see what Chip's roll is. For the roll for 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 your harm harm for, for three. All right. So I bear with me. This is really hard to do on a phone. Okay. Oh, there you go. I can't see it. So that is a nine. Um, oh, no. Uh, so that's a nine with the harm move. Um, 
That is bad as a tent. Um, which I will say, uh, so when you hit the water, uh, you hit hard and uh, you're kind of locked up onto this corpse um, and uh, it's dragging you under. Um, that's, ter- that's terrific. It's terrifying. People are going to love this. Okay. So we're going to cut from there. I'm going to check in with, with uh, Trace and then I want to check in with Ringo. Does that seem cool? Yep. So Scott, make it act under pressure here, because the the uh, place is starting to kind of tilt. You're grabbing up the stuff, and you want to want to leap and 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 get down into that water without taking any harm, right? That's my goal. Okay, act under pressure. Whether it happens or not, we don't. Oh, four. God, nothing's gonna save that. The four, good news five. is. You get to mark experience. They land on a jagged pylon. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll let that be it. Uh, so you will come out of there, and you twist, and something catches, and you end up getting thrown as the thing tilts, and you come down and land on a jagged pylon for two harm. Um Ready? Uh, I'll have you make your harm roll to see if you still have a hold of those uh, oxygen tanks. No, now's when I'm going to roll high. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, oh, we got to add my two, so seven. Seven. You are still alive. You are not uh, 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 in, you know, uh, in a place where you're going to immediately drown, but you did lose those oxygen tanks. Essentially, when you hit, they smashed against that, and they're gone. Okay. Ringo. Spoosh. Um, at this point, has Chip fallen past me, or is is that not happened yet? Uh, so I'll assume you kind of kind of pop up, um, and you'll see Chip come. Uh, sailing down he has it looks like he he grabbed onto one of those uh, uh guards that you sedated that are getting washed down into the water to drown um and he got a hold of one of them and they they kind of twirl together and fall and hit the water okay um these these are my this is my conflict and i'll tell you what i do in a moment okay my conflict is chip just lost me the money he lo- he blew 75 credits and I am ticked off conflicting with it. So I'm kind of willing to let him go, mm-hmm. but I'm conflicted because he's tied up with an innocent. So I can't save one without the other. So I'm going to mark the experience to protect the innocent and I will grab him. Okay. Let's have you act under pressure. Um, I will give you a plus one for your reflexes on this. Uh, okay. In addition, oh, so just the one that I get for the reflex, not two, right? Cool. Plus just one for your reflexes. Cause this yes, sir. Doing it. That. 11. Okay. So you rush over and kind of get a hold of him and you kind of turn it as you come around, you will see trace fall and <clears throat> onto this broken pylon. And you can see that oh. the, the, the whole rig is starting getting ready to give. Okay. Um, let's cut up to Xavier. Fuck! 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 Okay. Um, so where am I? I mean, I, I... You're, you're downstairs in the bowels of this. You've kind of gotten thrown out of the hallway. Uh, Rake is out there, but he's down at one end where it's starting to collapse. If, uh, the uh... other three are out in the water. Um, you will also realize that the helicopter is on the helipad, and oh. uh, this place is starting to tilt. Okay, I need to get up and go get it. And can I, can I fly it even remotely? I don't know. Can you tell me? Well, sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to learn. Okay. Um, uh, so let's have you act under pressure. Uh, is this with uh, reflexes? Uh, yeah, I'll give you reflexes for that. Woohoo! So describe to me what it looks like as you rush through this starting to collapse oil rig. 
it's the best of Die Hard when you're racing through it, everything like that, and you look like the normal guy, but you're actually incredibly uh, agile, running around and everything like that. Explosions going off everywhere, barely making it out, turning everything like that. Get to the helicopter, and uh, and I'm just- gonna hold there because you, I mean, with all of the the sort of ex- things that are breaking and busting behind you, because I need to know where Rake is at. But you you have the helicopter right in front of you, Xavier. Does that sound cool? Yep. Rake, what are you doing now? Hmm. The, so the others the, are in the uh, water. They've they've gone down the, in the water. The rig is rig collapsing. Is starting to collapse. Uh, is there um. Uh, is there a lifeboat? I'm sure there the, is. Do you want to go and try and find a a, a lifeboat? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, again, you're, this is this is you running through the place, looking, trying to find it. Go ahead and uh, uh, roll. Act under pressure. Now it really is. I mean, because you're trying to to get a life bolt and get out to open places there, um, and uh, uh, you will be able to mark experience. Jesus, buttocks. Okay, um, and uh, uh, it will. Cool. Uh, you will not find a, a a life raft or a lifeboat, um, and you have two choices. Um, you can either uh, continue to press on in here uh, uh, with the danger going up, or you can try and, and just jump off the rig. Hmm. Um... I'm going to press on here and see okay. if I can find... So, uh, either way, you're going to take one harm right now yep. uh, from okay. being thrown around, um, and we'll come back to you. Yep. Uh, all right. Um, uh, so, uh, Chip, you're still conscious. Trace, you're still conscious. Ringo, you're still conscious. Ringo, uh, sorry, Trace, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, the, the, did, did the, the tank sink? Uh... Or or were they just not free? Um, I'm going to say that they sank because essentially they're weighted to to allow the divers to go down. Then I'm just going to swim to get get clear of this rig before it collapses. Okay, act under pressure, literally and figuratively. I swim like a fish. Yeah, you you are are are. Getting swimming away from this thing, you know, getting out to, uh, uh, you know, uh, away from, you kind of, kind of judging where the rig is going to fall. You're getting uh, out from that um, and and moving, um, not a problem. Uh, Ringo, uh, you've got Chip and this other person. What are you doing? Um, I'll bring it back. I'm I'm realizing that hmm, this other person isn't that innocent after all. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Um, I, I cut her loose. Okay. Um, so you will, will cut her loose. Um, she is in that, that body armor. Um, she is, uh, got that knockout drugs. Um, and you will see, you kind of cut her loose and she starts to sink, Ringo. You bastard. And there'll be that moment where you see her eyes flicker open as she wakes up, as the water goes into her mouth. And then you see her face go down into the water as she drowns. Oh! And that's being broadcast. What do you say, Chip, when you see him do that? Well, I could say anything. Say anything. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> okay. Be saying. Oh. So, so you, well, you've I, got I'm that on film. Static. Okay. Yes. Um, and and for, the, for the people that are like watching with my sim senses... There's like a burst of euphoria. <laughs> and Ringo, you will be able to swim free away from this. Um, uh, I'm dragging Chip because oh, yeah. I'm I'm wanting to pay. He, somebody is going to pay me. And right now I'm thinking it's Chip. Um, and what uh, you you get to the co- to the chopper, uh, Xavier. Uh, yes. Um, and you will lift the chopper off. Of course, there'll be that thing. You'll you'll lift off just as one of these like uh, 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 crane arms comes swooping past, kind of lift up into the air, um, 
Uh, you can see there are a few, the, the handful of survivors who were out on the, the rigging on the deck because you told them to come outside are, have, have leapt. Uh, some of them have life jackets and stuff, and they are, are swimming away. There's probably about seven or eight of those guys. Um, you know, a couple of them are sick, and so they're dragging. They're being dragged by the other people, like that Richards guy that helped you out at this whole start of that. They're trying to keep him from drowning in the water. Um, um, but you are free, and you can see where Ringo and Chip are and where Trace is at. So which way do you want to head? How hard is it to fly a helicopter? You're, an, you're a badass. Okay. You told me you could fly a helicopter, so I, I don't think that's a problem. Okay, great. Thank then you, ma'am. Then I go pick up Trace first. Okay. So, uh, Trace, the, the chopper comes down where you're at. The, you know, they got that water spray up going on. Meanwhile, Rake, you hear the crunch as things are giving. You're in the, the heart of uh, uh, the, the Colossus as the rig is starting to go. Um, uh, so what's your goal here? Um, well... I guess I'm going to try to save um, Beauty and the Beast and uh, try to find a, an escape raft. <clears throat> with okay. Them. Uh, so let's have you. You now I'm we're have, in. Uh, I'm going to also have to, to um, scout. Uh, I mean, Beauty has scouted the place out. So I'm going to see if I can hook up to her. Uh, that gives you good Beauty. fiction for finding stuff. Sounds good to me. So right. roll. Act under pressure. Hmm. So that is an eight. I will say you can find a raft, but one of the drones will not make it. Which one? Ah. Uh... So I guess beauty will uh, be swept away. Okay, <clears throat> she'll get that that cut out as it as it gives. Um, uh, Bear essentially goes into to lock mode, essentially to secure itself. Um, and uh, you know you'll you'll tie that on to uh, whatever kind of in, inflatable rafts uh, uh, are here, and and push yourself out um, and and roll out into the water. Uh, Trace, you get up on the chopper. Um, uh, uh, and, uh, you can see, uh, 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 over there is Ringo and Chip, um, uh, and in the distance you can see the, 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 uh, uh, deckhands and stuff who survived, um, and you can also see, uh, the, the yellow life rafts and rake. What do you do? I, I am, skip, uh, I am gonna, since that probably blew up their their jammer. I am going to look for for signals from the undersea sea base to see if there's anything that survived that might be transmitting. There is no signal. Are there are there like uh, bubbles of debris floating up to the surface yet? Um, that's going to be a while, and and again, given the the range of that, I mean, that's going to be spread over miles. No signal, huh? Oh, fuck. Well, that would be a big fail. Uh, so uh, it, we're, we're not negative 75. We're negative 75 plus, <laughs> plus 9 times 5. So 100 and Well, you're going to lose whatever you staked. Yeah, no, I know. That's what my point. Because we should have gotten that 9. Um, then... Well, I didn't stay whatever, free, so. whatever I need to do uh, to cover our, our, our withdrawal. Okay. Um, uh, and what are you doing? Uh, are you picking up uh, Chip and Ringo and Rake? I will definitely pick up everybody, but I'm going to make Chip last. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Rake, you're kind of getting up there. You're I'll even negotiate with with uh rake for a little bit yeah because you know we can get your we can go around and get the drone again we can put that in there easy no problem we got one of these survivors too how about that we got an extra chair you know 
as as you broadcast that, I'll just say there's two seats free, right? Go pick up two survivors. We're swimming. You could make thirty miles. Well, until you come back for me on the second round. But <laughs> I might, I might be sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'll say. Yep, we are not going on the first round. Okay, fine. I pick up two survivors. Okay, that's fine. So you can actually probably pack in uh, a number of the survivors. You can get that Richards guy um, uh, on there, and uh, uh, I tell him we'll be coming. I'll tell him we'll be coming back. So you know, um, just hang on, hang on. Okay. I marked experience. I am not that. an okay. athlete, and the salt water burns in this empty eye socket I have. Yeah. Your wallet's going to burn, too, when we get back to shore. <laughs> um, Trace, uh, 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 you kind of got Rake bundled up into this. You can see uh, uh, Ringo down there kind of swimming on towards uh, uh, shore to keep him and Chip up. Uh, and... Uh, um, you will see uh, uh, that uh, Xavier's kind of concentrating on flying. And off in the distance, you will see something burst up from the water. Oh, yeah. I was wondering about this. Um, Trace, and you will see this guy naked, uh, uh, looks kind of pale, um, uh, 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 very emaciated, and he kind of bursts up into the air, and you'll see him fly off in the distance. And we've got footage of that. No, no, we don't. Trace is the only one that saw that. Oh. So um, they were a meta human down there. Oh. So, the league, hit keys. Oh. so everybody gets to mark two experience because uh, uh, you finished the mission. <laughs> That's good work. I thought the meta mission finished us. Yeah, you well you I mean you 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 you, you did do the end of the mission. Um, you are not going to get paid. Yeah. So you are going to lose your stake. Um, I think we should probably deal with the uh, yes. uh, uh, PC fallout at the start of the next session. Does that sound good? Sure. Um, but let's go ahead and do links. Um, uh, Rake, um, who did you interact with that you kind of learned something about on the mission? Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, Xavier, I think I had a... I uh, like the way he put the... was able to start the negotiations and uh, his infiltration of the base. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, so you can add a plus one link with Xavier. Uh, Trace, who did you learn something about on this mission? Oh, I'm going Xavier. Xavier 2. Okay. I, I, I learned that he's willing to put put the, the safety of, uh, 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 of others over the team. Okay, so now that would take your links with Xavier up to four, I believe, right? Oh, three. I just got it. I oh, just got it to three. Okay, because it does a turnover when it hits four. So uh, three does... is good. Yeah, there's a there's a whole thing that happens then. I'll talk about that if you do it. Oh, cool. Um, we're a couple. Yeah. Um, Ringo, what about you? What did you learn? Who did you learn two. something about? Xavier, two things. One, he was willing to back me up about the... Uh... The innocence, saving people, and two, he talks too much. <laughs> All right, so add one with uh, Xavier. Um, Xavier, who did you learn about? Oh, I learned all kinds of things about Daddy Bye Bye. I kind of remember how much I freaking hate that guy. I know I'm going to learn how to get under his skin, and I'm going to know everything about him so I can fuck with him every chance I get. <laughs> All right, so add plus one links with Daddy Bye Bye. Uh, uh, Daddy Bye Bye, I don't think we ha got, except for that big last scene, I don't think we get as much out of you as, as, as I could have this time. I, I'm, I feel a little sorry for that. 
I don't, I, um, don't, I don't think he had as much table time as some of the other people here, cause, just because of the nature of the mission. Yeah, I know. I mean, that was actually, you know... Um, I think he right had too kid. much table time, actually, for tails me as well. Okay. But I think, I think, I, I think what we did have, we made effective. Um, <laughs> and, and to not draw attention to that, what I learned is when Trace was kind of glad handing Ringo when Ringo got all moralistic. I learned that Trace might be <clears throat> more like Daddy Bye Bye than he knows. All right, add plus one links with Trace. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm going to stop the recording now. <laughs>